you love cookies. In this video... I'm so tired of getting smacked in the head with basketballs, basketballs. People even kicked me in the head once in a gymnastics competition. I hate this job. What? But, but you're supposed to be a happy unicorn. Wow. If it's what you really want, you'll be abandoning all the kids in the school. The school mascot, and we just need to decide the color, pink or blue. <gasps> I haven't decided yet, but I will soon. All right, everyone. I want a show of hands. Who wants the blue doge? Okay, 25 students want the blue doge. And let's see who wants the pink bunny rabbit. 25 students? It's a tie? Hmm, how will we have a tiebreaker? What? No, 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 no. We're not going to fight to see who the mascot's going to be. Unicorn was so annoying. You're wearing a shirt with a unicorn on it, Sarah. Okay, yeah, because my other clothes were dirty and and we're supposed to show school spirit for cheerleaders. That unicorn was way too cheery. Why don't they get something that's like a little less annoying? I'm so sad. I love the shiny unicorn more than anything. Ow! Well, Marty, the principal said that's going to be a new mascot. Maybe you'll love that one just as much. Okay, okay, class. Let's pay attention to what's going on in math class, not who the new school mascot will be. Yeah, but teacher, this is really important. Of course it is, but not as important as your math. Now, everybody, I want you to take out your workbook, um, page 34, please. And Molly, I want you to answer question number one, please. Ow. <laughs> I totally think our mascot should be something really girly and pretty and cute, don't you, Sarah? Oh, Tiffany, you're being so annoying. Why are you so cheery today? I don't know. It just seems like a cheery day. I mean, we're getting a new mascot. This is our opportunity to make everything pink and amazing in this school. Oh, I'm just so tired of being at school. I just want to be home, like, Snapchatting or shopping. Yeah, that does sound fun, but you are going to vote for pink, right? We don't even know what the mascot's going to be yet, Tiffany. Can you just be quiet? You're really annoying. Fine. You are so rude today, Sarah. Ugh, whatever. I'm going to go get a snack. Hmm, what do they have? Ooh, Diet Coke, my favorite. Who do you guys think our new mascot should be? I don't know, but I definitely think the mascot should be blue. Yeah, me too. I love the color blue. No, pink! What, do you want to go be with the mean girls? The baddies? Because they're the ones that are picking pink. Well, I think pink is a great color. 
Like I said, you could be on Sarah's side then. May I have your attention, please? Oh, it's an announcement! Maybe we're going home early. Buddy, it's not the lintel. It's not like we're gonna get a half day because it's snowing. We are about to see two possible mascots. Everybody, please join us in the auditorium. Yes! Let's go see what our new mascots are. This is going to be amazing. Here are our two possible mascots for Brookhaven High. We have the Doge. Oh, I love that one. It's all blue. The Bunny Rabbit. Oh, look at that bunny rabbit. Isn't it so cute? Cute? That little bunny rabbit is terrifying. It looks like a pink nightmare. Something that's going to come terrorize me in my dreams. Yeah, that thing has a little Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm totally voting for the Blue Doge. Yeah, don't you think it would be cool? Home of the Doge. I love it. I want the whole school, school to be blue. Oh. This is so lame. I could be Snapchatting right now. OMG, are you serious? I think that pink bunny rabbit is so cute. I hope our whole school is pink, pink, and also pink. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess if I had to choose, I would choose the pink bunny rabbit. I can't believe I'm saying rabbit instead of rabbit. Yeah, but it's going to be our school mascot. I'm so excited. All right, everyone. I want a show of hands. Who wants the blue doge? Okay, 25 students want the blue doge. And let's see who wants the pink bunny rabbit. 25 students? It's a tie? Hmm, how will we have a tiebreaker? What? No, 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 no. We're not going to fight to see who the mascot's going to be. going to have a pink versus blue fashion show. Whoever wins the best fashion in the show gets to have their color mascot for the school. Since we need to have a tiebreaker, I want everyone to come to school tomorrow in their favorite color, pink or blue. Whatever team has the most school spirit wins. And that will be our new school mascot. Cookie, you want to come over to my house and plan our outfit for tomorrow? I sure do, Molly. We need to have the most school spirit in the color blue. That way, we can win. Because we don't want that creepy pink bunny rabbit to be our mascot, do we? Absolutely not! Molly, come on! I've got a lot of homework to do. And I have to figure out what I'm wearing for spirit day tomorrow. Sorry, Daisy, but I can't get in the car unless you change the color to blue. What? You know I drive a pink car, Molly. Get in! No, I cannot be around the color pink. I choose blue. Molly, you're being ridiculous. You know that I own this car for like three years now. Well, I'm sorry, Daisy, but I'm not getting in the car with you. Well, fine then, walk. Wait, what? No, I don't want to walk, Daisy. But I'm not changing the colors. See you later, stinker. Ow. Stinker, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Your bunny rabbit's the real stinker. Just because I fart a lot doesn't mean you should call me a stinker. Ah, it's the creepy bunny rabbit. Get away from me. Ah! Wait, come back. We could be friends. Not a chance, creepy bunny rabbit. Thanks for leaving me at the school, Daisy. But Molly, I'm sorry, but you didn't want to get in my car. And so basically, what was I supposed to do? Change the color. This is Brookhaven. You can change the color. I'm not changing the color of my car for you. Now, if you excuse me, Sarah's coming over soon. Say what? Sarah's not going to come to our house. She's a total bully. Uh, correction. She loves the bunny rabbit and so don't I. We both love the color pink. Daisy, Sarah doesn't love anything. She's a grumpy bully. Well, she doesn't want blue to win. And neither do I. So she and Tiffany are coming over. Ugh, this day just got so much worse. I can't wait till Brookie shows up. Did somebody just say my name? Brookie! Come on in. Molly, you look so sad. What's going on? My sister is inviting over Sarah and Tiffany. Say what? Why? 
because she wants to win and they're all fashionistas. They're baddies. You know that they're going to win. What? No, our outfits are going to be amazing. Come on, let's go brainstorm what we can do. Yeah, we can't let that creepy bunny take over our school. Game face, Brookie. Let's do this. How's this? Molly, seriously? No, no, try again. How about this? Whoa, Molly, you look like a smurf. No, definitely not. We want to win this competition. Brookie, it's no use. Look at us. Y you look like a, a blueberry. And I look like a smurf. We're not fashionistas. We're not going to win the competition. Molly, did you forget? Forget what? Huh, how to be fashionable? Yeah, I totally did. Never give up and never surrender. Because you can do anything. If you put your mind to it, whoa, 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 you can do it. Okay, I'll try again. Great job, Molly. I know you can do this. I have faith in you. Thanks, Brookie. You really are the bestest friend in the whole world. Aww. Whoa, Molly, you look amazing. You even have an adorable dog on the front of your shirt. You're the perfect, perfect like combination of blue and the bow in your hair and the hearts and and you're gonna win the school spirit i just know it blue is gonna win because of you really you think so i know so my outfit's really cheesy <laughs> i painted my skin blue and now um i don't think it's gonna wash off it's okay brookie you definitely have school spirit we're gonna win to tomorrow brookie i know we are I hope so, Molly, because I do not want that creepy pink bunny rabbit to be our school mascot. Don't worry. With outfits like these, we don't have anything to worry about. We have so much school spirit, it's just beaming out of us. I seriously cannot believe I'm allowing you to dress me up like this. Oh, Sarah, turn that frown upside down. You're the cutest pink bunny rabbit the ever was. <laughs> She's right. You look so adorable. Well, except for that miserable, super frowny face of yours. Come on, you're a cute bunny rabbit. We're totally going to lose. I look ridiculous. <sighs> do you girls actually want to win? Of course we do, fair and square. Uh-huh. Daisy, could you go get me some soda? I'm so thirsty. Sure, no problem. Tiffany, come here. Uh, yeah, what is it, Sarah? You're my cronies. You have to do what I say. You're a minion, and that's all you will ever be. What? Rude! But you know it's true. I am queen of the baddies. Now go upstairs and steal Molly and Brookie's spirit outfit for tomorrow. What? That's cheating. Uh-huh. And we definitely want the pink to win, right? Um, yeah. Then do as I say, Tiffany. Okay, Sarah. If you say so, if it's the only way to win. <gasps> I'll see you tomorrow, Brookie. Show up bright and early so that we can put on our outfits before school. Okay, Molly, see you then. We're totally going to win. Ah, I think I need to go downstairs and have a delicious donut. I can't wait for tomorrow. Totally going to win this competition. Wow. They're such ignoramuses. They didn't even see me hiding in the hallway. <laughs> now I'll steal their school spirit outfits and they'll lose. And pink will win forever. <laughs> now where did they put them? And the color pink is going to win. Oh, uh, be quiet. It's still too early. Yeah, sleep, Molly, sleep. While our team pink wins. Oh, what? No, I'm up. I'm up. Time to put on my amazing mascot outfit that shows how much school spirit I really have. Uh, as soon as I can open my eyes. One minute, 37 seconds later. Here are our outfits. <gasps> they were right here in, in this drawer. Daisy. Did you take my school spirit outfit? What? Why would I do that? Of course not. Because you said you were going to win. And that's the only way you would win. Because my outfit and Brookie's outfit 
Well, Brookie's outfit was a little weird, but mine is amazing. I worked really hard on it. Where is it, Daisy? Why are you accusing me? That's so rude. You took it. No, I didn't. Stop saying that. Well, somebody did because it's missing. Maybe you just misplaced it. I've got to get to school because Pink's about to win. Blue's going to win. You just, you just wait and see. Oh, gosh. Where's my sc school spirit outfit? Oh, no. I think Daisy might have stolen it. Uh -oh. Good morning, Molly. Whoa, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Come on, let's put our outfits on and win this thing. We don't have outfits. <gasps> what? Yes, we do. We worked for hours last night putting our outfits together all in blue so that our blue doge would win as new school mascot. <coughs> no, they're missing. Wait, wha what? Maybe you just accidentally put them under the bed or something. Maybe your dog ran off with them. We could, we could see if Gracie's in the backyard. Here, girl. Here, girl. <coughs> no, you don't understand. They've been stolen. Wait. What? Do you know what this means? If we don't have a school spirit outfit, then, then, then the pink team will win. And then creepy bunny rabbit's going to be our school mascot forever. Well, maybe not forever. I mean, maybe that rabbit will quit eventually like, like shiny unicorn did. I doubt it. That rabbit just seems creepy enough to hang around forever and ever. Yeah, you're right. What are we going to do? It's hopeless. <laughs> Molly, are you seriously crying? Stop that. Get up. I can't. I've given up all hope. Molly, get up. What about never give up and never surrender? Uh, I can't do anything. <gasps> Molly, snap out of it. Put on your game face. We have to come up with new school spirit outfits. And quick. Yeah. Whoever stole our outfit thinks they're going to win. But they're not. We're going to show them just how much school spirit we really had. Uh, Molly, I went digging through your Halloween costume bin and I found this giant fish. It's blue, so it sort of works, right? Uh -oh. Whoa! Molly, your second outfit's even better than the first. You look amazing. Um, I'm afraid I'm not going to be much help, though. I mean, <laughs> I'm a giant fish. No one's going to pick me. All of the hope of blue rests on your shoulders, Molly. You have to win school spirit. Or we're doomed to that creepy pink bunny wabbit forever. Ah! Don't worry, Brookie. I've got this. What? What's this? It wow. looks like pink's already arrived. OMG Daisy! What? Pink for life! Oh, for us! <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah! They got a pink stretch limo. Yeah, because we're cool and you drool. <laughs> losers. Yeah, <gasps> losers. Molly, don't let this get you down. You still look amazing. You can win school spirit, I promise. I sure hope so. Pink for life! Pink for life! Oh, Tiffany has stage fright. She doesn't want to come out here. Well, it's okay because we look adorable. Put down your sign. No one can see your face. And you want them to see just how much you love pink, right? You're telling me that? Look at your face. You look grumpy. Oh, I just look this way all the time. I'm a baddie. Duh. Vote for pink because we're popular so we know what's cool. The end. Wow, we got a lot of applause. I think that we're going to win. Pink for life. Pink for life. Blue is amazing. And I'm about to tell you why. Blue is the color of the ocean. Calm and amazing and, and full of, of amazing secrets we haven't even discovered yet. That's why Brookie dressed as a fish. To show you how vast and deep and amazing the color blue really is. Besides that, blue starts with B. Brookhaven starts with B. It's like it was meant to be. Uh, Brookie, are you seriously a dancing fish right now? Well, it was better than flopping around on the, on the floor. I mean, right? Yeah, I guess so. You should pick blue because 
blue is just amazing. I'm not telling you this is the popular girl. I'm telling you this as somebody who really, really loves blue. I, I think that it should be our school color. And, and I think the doge really fits Brookhaven way more than that creepy bunny webbit. I couldn't agree more. Blue for life. <laughs> Okay, did you hear that? I did, Mommy. It sounds like the applause is even louder for the color blue. I think the doge is gonna win. Yes! The school has spoken, and the doge wins. Congratulations! Everyone will now wear blue from here on out. Yay! Yay! I win! I get to be the school mascot! What? I wanted to be the school mascot! Why can't I be the school mascot? Everybody thinks I'm creepy. <laughs> Sorry, but you don't get to. <laughs> well, I hope there's a lot of basketballs that fall on your head. <laughs> okay, Bunny Wabbit. Let's not be a sore loser. Congratulations, Doge. You are Brookhaven High's new mascot. Yes! We won, Molly! We did it! <laughs> okay, class, what's so funny? Someone gonna let me in on the joke? Wait a minute. What are you guys wearing? What? Do all of you have no homework shirts? Why would you wear that to school? You're at school. Of course you're going to have homework. Um, because all you've been doing is giving us mountains and mountains of homework, Mrs. Smith. We don't have time to have a life or do anything other than homework. Ooh. Yeah, it really stinks. I agree. Too much homework. I think since the entire class is being so defiant, I'll assign more homework this week. <laughs> we'll see who wins now. Sorry, we all took a vote and we're not doing any homework tonight. We're exhausted. I mean, Daisy slept in today. She never sleeps in. She's late for school trying to get all of her homework done. And this is Daisy we're talking about. If the biggest brain in all of Brookhaven has trouble finishing her homework, think about the rest of us dummies. Oh, that's it. I'm getting the principal. Uh-oh, here comes Principal Dietrich. What's this I hear about everyone wearing these terrible no homework shirts? That's it. I hereby decree from this day forth, we shall have a school dress code. Yes, a school dress code with my favorite color ever, pink. <laughs> I'll expect everyone to come to school first thing tomorrow wearing all pink, our new school uniform. Pink? Oh, great. We're gonna look like Pepto-Bismol every single day. This can't be happening. Bro, is she serious right now? I don't even own one item of clothing that's pink. Um, yeah, I own like one thing that my grandmother bought me like four years ago and I never wear it. Well, I guess we have to go shopping, Molly. Or we have to go into Daisy's closet. She'll love this. Ugh, I can't believe it. I want to wear blue. Blue is my favorite color. Good afternoon, students. You're about to be released to go home for the day, but I just wanted to give the reminder that you will be wearing pink tomorrow or suffer the consequences. Suffer the consequences. Suffer the consequences. Just who does this lady think she is? Um, well, uh, I think she th thinks that she's the principal. Yeah, she can basically do whatever she wants, Molly. It's not fair. I don't want to wear pink every day. I'll look like a pink nightmare. Well, I guess things could be worse. We could have gotten more homework. Are you kidding me? Mrs. Smith gave us a ton of homework. And it's math. Oh, my least favorite subject. Hi, welcome to Rockstar. What can I help you find? Oh, they don't sell any pink in my size. What am I going to do? Um, well, you could go shop in the girls' side. <laughs> There's definitely some pink there. 
Oh, we have this new school rule that our school uniforms have to be all pink. What? That sounds kind of crazy. <laughs> Is your principal gone bonkers? I think so. Oh, it all started because Molly suggested that we wear these no homework shirts. Whoa, is she your friend? I think that I'd make her my ex-friend if I were you. No, it's just the way that Molly is. She can't help herself. But seriously though, can you help me find something pink? In your size? You're a pretty big guy. Can you play football? Uh, yeah. Um, well, let's see what we can do. Hmm, I might have this in an XL. Molly, what are you wearing? You're supposed to be wearing pink. No. I am not wearing pink. I hate that color. Really? I think it's the most beautiful color ever. Pink is so pretty. Okay, DZ, that's your choice to wear pink. I'm wearing blue. Um, Molly, that shirt is what got us all in this trouble to begin with. Just put on the pink outfit so we don't get in any more trouble. We're not going to get in trouble. We're wearing pink. And I love this new dress code. Of course you would, because it, it's exactly what you want. But what about the people who like blue, or purple, or black? Whoa, got dark there for a minute, Molly. <laughs> well, good luck. I'm sure the principal's not going to like you wearing a no homework shirt and in the color blue. Man, you're going to get in so much trouble. Ooh. I don't care. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't believe I have to be seen like this. <laughs> Luke, what are you wearing? It's all that would fit me from the Rockstar store. I feel like a, a dork. Well, uh, you look like one a little bit. <laughs> You're giving me a good laugh this morning, though. <laughs> Why not wear what you want? Can't wear what we want. We have to wear all pink. It's the new school dress code. Oh, I'm going to have to special order some from the internet or something. I'm not wearing pink. Nope, nope. And also, no. Well, come on, we better get to class. Oh, do I have to go into school like this? I'm afraid so, Luke. Don't you just love pink? Daisy, you're delusional. He doesn't love it. I don't love it. He loves it. Just doesn't want to admit it. Do you? You love pink, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? I don't love it. <laughs> okay, class, let's settle down. Everyone looks nice in their new dress. What? Molly, why are you still wearing that shirt? Because I like blue. Uh-oh, this isn't going to go good. Molly, principal's office, now. Uh-oh. I'm just a pink girl living in a pink world. You wanted to see me, principal? How did you like my song? Wasn't it amazing? Unlike you, who's not amazing because you aren't wearing pink. And since you don't decide that you want to follow school rules, I guess you're going to have to clean the bathrooms, yeah. including the toilets, in the boys' room. Well, here goes nothing. Ugh. I'm blue, ba da dee da da da, ba da dee da 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 da. I'm blue, dee 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 dee. Ew, gross. Where's Molly? I heard this rumor, I don't know if it's true, but that she had to clean the boys' toilets because she only wore blue today and not pink. Whoa, I'm starting to think she's the lucky one though. This outfit's super itchy. Oh, it's so itchy and it's right in the middle of my back and I can't reach it. Oh, this outfit's awful and it's too tight and it's itchy and I hate it. Oh, look, there's the principal. Play it cool, everybody. I do look cool because I'm wearing pink, duh. Look at everyone looking adorable in pink. Except for you. Why are you wearing that? What? What do you mean? Why am I wearing this? I'm wearing what you told me, pink. Are you making fun of my all pink dress code? Uh oh, what? No, I'm just wearing what you said. He is. He's trying to make a joke out of this. That's it. First, someone doesn't wear pink, and now someone's trying to make fun of it. You're expelled. Wait, what? But I didn't do anything. I, 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 oh. Ow, 
out of my school. Now! <gasps> well, it's lunchtime, but I'm not done cleaning the boys' bathroom, so I guess I just have to eat my lunch in here. Ugh. Something has to be done about this Looney Tune school dress code. It's ridiculous, and I'm not going to stand for this. Rats to our school lunch lady. She made some delicious cheeseburgers today. Mm. Even if I do have to eat it next to the boys' toilets. Ew. Ew. Wasn't moving pink today so amazing? No. I had to clean all the boys' toilets and then the girls' bathroom, too. Well, I guess you should have followed the rules, because I thought it was amazing. Daisy, seriously, something has to be done about wearing all pink all the time. Ugh, makes me want to barf. Ooh. Well, I'm not helping you do anything. I love our new dress code. Our principal's amazing. Are you kidding me? She's gone bonkers. She hasn't gone bonkers. She just loves pink. It's her passion. Pink is her passion. Pink, pink is her passion. Daisy, stop singing. You're annoying me. Stop being so blue all the time and get happy and cheery and full of pink spirit. Never. Luke, are you home? Where else would I be? I got expelled from school. But it turns out it's not that bad. <laughs> I just play video games all day in my basement. Luke, I need your help. I need you to protest with me about the pink school thing. Sorry, Molly, but I'm really enjoying staying home all the time. Luke! Look, I'm playing video games. Look at this old school Tetris game. This is so cool. Okay, you're obviously going to be zero help. Sorry, Molly. Wish I could help you. Ugh, I'm going to try somebody else. Maybe Brookie. Brookie! Brookie, are you home? Brookie! Hey, Molly, what's up? I'm just doing my work, up right, work out right now. I'm so out of breath. My brain isn't even working, so I can't talk at the same time. Can you stop for a minute? I need to talk to you. Um, sure, what is it? But it can't take too long. I don't want my heart rate to go down. You love to work out. Sometimes I wonder how we're even best friends. Look, we've got to band together about this whole pink dress code thing. Molly, are you sure it's that big of a deal? Hey, come on, it's a huge deal. I guess you're right. The principal has gone a little crazy. What's your idea? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Hi everyone, it's me, Ashley, live at the Brookhaven School. And today we have a protest going on against the principal and her new school dress code of all pink, pink, pink. Uh, let's just see what's going on here, shall we, Bruce? No more pink! No more pink! No more pink! Blue rules, blue rules. Let's have blue, blue, blue rules, blue rules, pink drills, blue rules, or something like that. Yeah, no more pink. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm just here to be on the news. <laughs> I'm famous. Uh, you're here for protesting pink. Oh, yeah, cool. All right, I don't like pink either. What? What's this? You don't like pink? Well, you should all be suspended then. This is my pink world. If you couldn't guess, this is what happened to our principal. Okay, principal, why don't you come with me? We need to take you to the hospital. What? I don't need to go to the hospital. I feel fine. I feel pink. I feel rosy and happy. You also feel a bit bonkers. <laughs> and uh, I think maybe you should probably go get checked out. Did you get a bonk on the head? What? No, I just love pink, pink, pink. Okay, come on, come with me. No, I'm not coming with anybody. Goodbye. <gasps> hey, get back here. <laughs> I'll go live in my pink world. Pink, 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 pink. <laughs> We have 100 hacks and secrets in Brookhaven to show you guys. And this first one is like so crazy. You see, I almost didn't want to tell you about it because I felt like you might not want to do it. Why? Are we going to get in trouble at Roblox? Well, um, so every time I tested this hack before we started making this video, I kept getting disconnected from the game. I think it might actually ban us. What? Ban us? Are you crazy? 
Maddie, do you think we should do this? I don't know. Guys, I'm doing this. I want to show you guys um, what's going to happen when we keep doing this hack and we get disconnected. Because I don't even know myself. So the first thing we need to do is go down and get this new, like, government science lab thing. Wait, what? A new science lab? <gasps> Ooh. Daisy, this has been around for a little bit now. Have you just been doing homework, like, with your entire life? Yeah, pretty much. But I'm drooling over this science lab. Look at it. <gasps> Big goals for my adulthood. <laughs> Guys, next I'm going to spawn this adorable little car right here. And get in, Daisy. Muddy, I can't get in. There's a baby there. Oh, well, I guess you're going to have to ride in the back. But, but, okay, fine. Hey, baby safety comes first. Well, then you should definitely not be driving. Hey, I don't think I'm that bad of a driver. Look at me! Yeah, look at you running into the wall. Good thing that there's not actual, like, military people guarding us. You'd be kicked out in no time. Molly, this is taking forever. Let me drive, pug! Okay, my sister wants to drive because she thinks I'm a bad driver. And, well, she may have a little bit of a point. <laughs> Just a little one. Molly, climb on the back. Okay, I did. Wow, Daisy, you're really making me look bad with driving through those doors on the first try. Well, I'm an awesome survival. I have to be. My son is in here. Oh, very funny. All right, guys. So now what you want to do is um go into the surgical testing room. Guys, look at this in here. This is crazy. If you touch this, like these buttons, look at all this crazy stuff it does. But we're looking for one that we definitely want to use. And that is this giant like water water tornado guys you can swim all the way up look at this oh <laughs> look at this oh my god that's so cool all right guys so what i want to do is float my little purple car well i'm sw look at i was swimming like outside of it that was weird all right i want to float my purple car in this water but every time i've tried it the game has disconnected me so i don't know what's gonna happen we better not get banned, Molly. I love Brookhaven. Guys, we're going to test this for you. We don't know what's going to happen. All right, Daisy. Back up and floor it. Here we go, guys. Oh, my God. She's floating in the water. What? We got disconnected again? OMG, Molly. This is definitely a hack that Brookhaven does not want you to do. Uh, Yeah, but it was cool. We floated our car in the water. That was amazing. I know, but if it's disconnecting you every time, it's a bad idea, Molly. Don't click reconnect. I'm clicking reconnect because, guys, I want to see what happens if you do this a bunch of times. All right, guys, here's the second try. We're back down into the science lab here with our car. It only took Daisy like five tries to get down here. What? Okay, yeah, it did. It's kind of a tight space. All right, so she's going to try it from this angle now, and we're going to see if we get disconnected again. Molly, I, I don't think we should do it. I I think we should do it a third time because I'm feeling like it's just going to disconnect us. It's not going to actually ban us or anything. This time, when Daisy floats the car in the water, she's going to jump out and try swimming. And we're going to see if the car <laughs> still stays up there and if we get disconnected. Okay, Molly, here goes nothing. All right, guys. Daisy, did you get out? Oh, my God. Daisy got out. And that time we didn't get disconnected. Whoa. Okay, Molly, let's try it again. I don't think you can swim, like, swim in it, though. Once you jump out, the car just falls. Yeah, I think so, Molly, but let's try to float the car for at least five seconds. Yeah, let's do this. It does nothing. Okay, that floated it not in the water. Let's just, like, float it in the water. I'm trying, Miss Peaky. It's not like this is the easiest hack in the world. It's a very small space to drive your car around in, Molly. Can you imagine if this was real life and you were, like, ruining your car to float it in the water? That'd be a very bad idea. All right, guys. I kind of want to see what it looks like from above when she floats the car. So I'm just going to go up here and we can take a look and see. Okay, guys? All right, Daisy. We're ready when you are. Let's see if we can see Daisy. Okay, Daisy, I don't really see you. Yeah, um, no, you do, Molly, you do. <laughs> that was so weird. 
Okay, I was sort of like swimming up there. Oh man, now you're stuck, aren't you, Daisy? Uh, nope, I'm not stuck, I'm just floating. Ah! Molly, they really do not want you to do this hack in Brookhaven. We should stop now, before someone bans us. Banch man, -la 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 lamb. I'm doing it again, and I'm gonna see if I can float the car for five seconds or longer. This time I'm gonna ride in the back. Here we go, guys, let's do this. <laughs> Whoa, it glitched me up into the ceiling. All right, let's try again. Oh my God, guys, that is so cool. I cannot believe this. This is amazing. We're like floating in the water. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wait, what? Molly, it says we've been banned for 24 hours. Wait, no, this can't be right. We're Roblox video stars. I don't think they care, Molly. It says we've been banned. O-M-G! That's so cool. And also, not so cool. Guys, I can't believe we actually found a hack that would get us banned in Brookhaven. Make sure you watch these next videos to watch 99 other hacks and secrets we found in Roblox. All right, guys. I guess we'll see you in 24 hours. Yeah. I guess you gotta do your homework, Molly. Not a chance! <laughs>
Do you want a soda too, Luke? Sure, that would be great. I'd love one. Okay. Be right back. <laughs> he really likes me. <gasps> well, we're just waiting on the waiter or waitress to come take our order because I'm starving and I want something to drink. Yeah, Luke's waiting to play crane game with me, but I want some soda too. Oh, I can't wait to snap this. Oh, I look so cute today. Hey, everyone. Just looking adorable at my job. Excuse me, but not to be rude, but we're really hungry and we want something to drink. Can you please take our order? Yeah, and our friend Luke over there definitely wants something to drink and eat too. Wait a minute. There were ten toys in that crane game, and now there's only nine. Whoa, but friend Luke must have won one. No, there was no more money put into it because every time money gets put in, we get like a little signal on our phones that tells us that. Whoa, really? Yeah, it shows us every time we make a sale at Chuck E. Cheese and I didn't get one. So did your friend just steal from the crane game? Well, I just heard him say that you could stick your arm up in there and get a free toy. Um, Daisy, I'm not sure we should tell her that. Our friend Luke, he doesn't steal anything. Well, maybe we should let the police decide. <laughs> what? No, put away your phone. He didn't do it. He's innocent. Let's just let the police decide whether he stole a toy or not. Lady, why are you being so rude to my boyfriend? <gasps> your Ow. boyfriend? Who said it was your boyfriend? Oh, no. Are you guys going to fight over Luke? I mean, your sister's first, and then your friends with Luke second. Well, there's no fighting. He's my boyfriend. He's actually neither of your boyfriends. Well, I'm sure he didn't steal anything. Luke, Luke, they're about to call the cops. Wait, what? Why? Did Chuck E. Cheese come back? Has he gone crazy like you said? No, there's a toy missing from the crane game. And no money got put in. There was supposed to be ten toys and now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two missing toys. Well, I didn't take them. I don't know what happened. It wasn't me. Well, it had to be somebody and you were the only one standing here. Are you accusing me of stealing those toys? <gasps> I thought we were friends. Ah, uh, no, I'm not accusing you. I'm just saying that the police are coming. Uh-oh. I think you're innocent, though. Well, I'm sure it's just all a misunderstanding. Where's the criminal? I'm going to take him down. What? There's no criminal here. Actually, someone stole two toys from the crane game. And I looked at surveillance footage, and you were the only one. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he took it. Yeah. Maybe he's very good at being a thief. Is this the first time you've stolen from a crane game? <gasps> are you a serial crane game thief? Uh-oh! Um, I don't even know if that's a real sentence you just said, but... Maddie, don't talk to the police like that. You'll be arrested next. Well, I'll be hauling you off to jail now. <laughs> Wait, what? You can't take him. He's, he's my friend. Yeah, and he's gonna stay here, lady. It's okay, Molly. I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. Yeah, you'll be out in no time. I just know it. Mm-hmm. Sure you will. That's what all the criminals say. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hey, you, there, in my bed. Huh? What? Ugh, you're in the wrong jail cell. This is my room. No, jail cell number one is mine. This is only my third time in here, and I always am in number one. Oh, sorry. Did you just get taller? No, I was just squatting down, so I didn't want to make you feel as bad. But now, since you're just trying to steal my bed, I just gonna have to beat you up what no i i i'm not like a, a criminal i i they said i stole two toys from the crane machine at, at chuck e cheese but i didn't do it really wow. Gosh. you're a bad guy well not really because i didn't actually do it what are you in here for and what's your name hey i'm fred my reason for being in here this time is that well I stole a pacifier from Target. Seriously? Dude, you're like 40. You don't need a pacifier anymore. No, it's for this kid that was crying in the one aisle over. I felt sorry for it, and also it was really loud. So I went to give it a pacifier. But of course, I don't own a pacifier. Um, Fred? Are those bunny slippers? Yeah, of course they are. I'm about to go to bed, duh. Now get out of my jail cell. Um, I would, but I can't open the door. 
Well then, I guess you gotta sleep on the top bunk. Okay. Hope we can be friends, Fred. Don't count on it, kid. So, uh, boss, why'd you want to see us in your jail cell? Yeah, well, I've got a new idea to get on out of here. Oh, boss, you're so smart. I hope this time we get out of jail for real. Yeah, so we can rob some more banks. Okay, boys. First, change my diaper. Boss, uh, I don't think so. Aren't you potty trained? Yeah, but I was just messing with ya. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, boss, you're so funny. <laughs> well, laugh. <laughs> you're our funny boss. When I say laugh, I mean laugh. When I say break me out of jail, I mean break me out of jail. I can't believe I got put in a max security prison for all boys. Oh, I miss school. I miss my friends. I miss pizza. Mm, this pizza is really good. Yeah, really good. Mali, are you okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Mali, you're eating ale. There's no pizza in your hand. Oh, yeah. I guess I wasn't very hungry. Mali, what's going on? I found out today on Snapchat that Luke has been sent to a max security all boys prison. What? Yeah, we can't even go visit him because we're girls. Oh, Ben, gee, Molly, how long they be there for? I don't know, Daisy. I, I think probably ten years for stealing those two toys from Chuck E. Cheese. What? No, five years for each toy, and the things were only worth about fifty cents. That seems a bit harsh. Yeah, but if you do the crime, you do the time. Except for Luke didn't do anything. I don't know how those toys disappeared. Maybe they just counted wrong. My friend, he's not a thief. I know, Molly, I know. But there's not much we could do. I know. Oh, this is terrible. Who's going to play Roblox with me? I will, Molly. But you're my annoying sister. I want Luke. Yeah. Molly, I know you have a crush on him. What? Don't say that. He's just my friend and I miss him. I know, I miss him too. Breaking news, breaking news. Little Nikki is back in prison. Oh my gosh, that guy will never stop. Yeah, and he's not even five years old yet. Think about the criminal, Sarah, that he's gonna be when he's like 15 or 20. Yeah, he's the biggest criminal we have in this town. Whoa, little Nikki is back in prison? Wait a minute, that gives me a great idea. Molly, I don't like when you have great ideas. They end up really bad ideas. If they're gonna put Luke in an all-boys prison, then they're gonna have to lock me up too. Uh, Molly, you a girl. What are you talking about? <laughs> You'll see. Molly, where are you going? <coughs> Outfit change. Molly, you're gonna get dressed up? But Luke's not even here to take you out on a date. <laughs> oh, very funny, Daisy. Hey, everybody, it's me, Molly. I'm doing this last Snapchat because I don't know if I'm going to return from this mission. But if I do, guys, you can guarantee that I'm going to have my friend Luke with me. And then he might ask me to dance, so I'm extra excited about that. Okay, guys, I hope I see you soon. Bye. <coughs> well, what do you think? Molly, what are you wearing? <laughs> you look like little Nikki. Yeah, I'm Little Nikki's twin. <laughs> this wig is awesome. Uh, Molly, I don't know if they're gonna believe it. And why do you wanna pretend you're his twin? Because how do they know who did the crime? Little Nikki or Molly Nikki? <laughs> I guess they wouldn't know. And that means they'd have to put you in the prison. That's right. So I get to see Luke and hopefully break him out of there. Molly, when I said that your ideas were bad ones, I really meant it. You might get locked up forever. To help my friend, it'd be worth it. Molly, don't leave. Don't worry, Roblox wouldn't let me. It actually made me chill on the couch. <laughs> I hate when Roblox does that. Yeah, well, now I'm actually leaving. Bum, bum, bum. Time to use my phone to teleport. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could actually teleport in real life? <laughs> yeah, that would save a lot of car accidents. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. About to save my best friend. Actually, sorry. Uh, Brookie, are you watching this? Yes, 
Did you just call Luke your best friend? No. See, I mean, you're my best friend, Brookie, and Luke is my soon-to-be <gasps> boyfriend. Yeah. Ooh la la. <laughs> Hi there. Whoa, little Nikki, how'd you get out? Wait a minute, you're not little Nikki. You're way too tall to be little Nikki. Haha, <laughs> that's because I'm little Nikki's twin. Uh -oh. Little Vicky. Little Vicky? Yeah, as in Victor, Vicky, Victor. I didn't know he had a twin brother. Wait, how are you so much taller than he is if you're twins? I had a growth spurt, duh. All kids grow at different rates, duh. Huh. Are you supposed to be smart, bacon hair? Actually, no, I'm kind of a noob. Uh, okay. Well, do you need to lock me up? Um, why? Because how do you know which twin actually did the crime? Oh, yeah, that's true. Have you been helping your brother rob Ben? Absolutely. You have the right to remain silent. You're going to jail. Perfect. Really? You're that excited about it? Wow, you're kind of messed up. Well, you know what they say. Three hots and a cat. Place to sleep, a place to eat. Sounds good to me. Now, do you serve pizza? No. Uh-oh. Only have gruel three times a day. Yeah. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll learn to love it. You'll be in cell number one. Luke! Little Nikki? Wait, did you have a growth spurt? I'm sorry. I promise I won't ever look at you the wrong way ever again. Um, yeah, um, what? I promise, don't give me any more swirlies in the toilet. Yeah. That was the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh, wow. Totally gonna have a little bit of, uh, just trauma from that one, huh? <laughs> Luke, it's not little Nikki. It's, uh, little Vicky. <laughs> Wait, there's two of you? <laughs> uh, no. Luke, it's me. I know. Oh, please. I'm, okay, I'm sleeping. Just ignore me. I'm not even here. Look, it's me, Molly. Wait, what? What? Molly? Yeah, I'm wearing a wig and some fake muscles and this ridiculous outfit, and I don't know why I keep just... This game is so glitchy! Ah! Don't you know I'm trying to make a role play? Uh, Molly, um, can we get back to the story? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Anyway, so I'm a little Vicky, but I'm actually Molly, and I, I went undercover to get you out of here. Wait, you snuck into an all-boys prison? Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you, Luke. Only for you. Oh. <laughs> um, that was a nice thing to say. Well, I guess we're gonna get to know each other better since we're roomies now. Yeah, except for this wig is really itchy. Ugh. Okay, everybody. You have the right to remain silent. Who is this clown? He's just one of little Nikki's, well, cronies. Wait. Little Nikki? I didn't know you were in here. Sorry, boss. I'll do better next time. Uh -oh. Yeah, you better. You better get me and my friend Luke out of here. Tonight. Okay. Well, I got a job in the tools section, so finally they trust me enough. They don't know that I'm one of your cronies. Did you hear that, Luke? He works in the tools section at the gym. This means he's going to get us out of here. I don't know. That guy's kind of, well, ignoramus. Well, it doesn't matter if he's dumb or not. He's getting us out of here. They lock the doors after 8 p.m. There's no leaving or going from the jail cells. Don't worry. I have a feeling that my crony will figure this out. Wow, you're actually kind of like little Nikki, only cuter. Oh, even in this ugly wig. Absolutely, Molly. <laughs> that was a nice thing to say. Hey, if we get out of here, do you want to go to the dance with me? What? Um, uh... I mean, you don't have to. Yeah! Sure! Okay, I didn't think you were going to be that excited about it. Well, I will be excited about anything if I can get out of here. Um, it's kind of bad, but I have to go to the bathroom. What? No, you're going to have to hold it. But I had a taco for lunch. Molly. Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're stuck in the same room, so um, didn't mean to gas you out. Psst, guys, come on. I broke the lock. <laughs> Perfect, crony. Let's get out of here. You do have a way out, right? Sure do. Watch this. What? Freedom! Come on, Luke. We're out of here. You sure this is a good idea, Molly? Yeah. Now we have to figure out how to prove your innocence. Should we steal that police car? No! Then we go back to jail for that! 
You just need to go to Chuck E. Cheese and try to figure out how to get you out of this. And uh, I probably should change out of this outfit. And you should change out of that one. We look pretty obvious. Uh, Luke? Are you going undercover like that? Mamma mia! Boy, are you going undercover like that? Your dress is a giant burrito! I know, I was so hungry that this is what I picked because I'm, like, really hungry. The jail doesn't even feed you. Molly, well, you were there for, like, two hours. Yeah, I know, but I was expecting to give me pizza for dinner. It's jail! Exactly, it's jail! You don't get fed there! They just feed you gruel, and and if you can catch a mouse, you could probably eat that. Yeah. Ew, gross! Now, come on, Luke. Let's go to Chuck E. Cheese and get to the bottom of this. Yeah, Molly. Hopefully we can prove my innocence. Yeah, and then we can go get bean burritos. I'm starving. Oh, Molly. You're always thinking of your stomach. Very true. Very true. <laughs>
Yeah, and it calculated it wrong. No wonder you keep failing. Hey, if you're going to be rude, then then I don't have to have you help me. Uh-oh. Why don't you just sit down and do what I tell you to? I don't think so, Daisy. I think I'd rather be in a different universe than you. What? I'm just trying to help you. Am I calling me Ignoramus? That's just rude. Go away, Daisy. <coughs> Molly, you're going to fail. Get back here. You're not in charge of me, Daisy. You're not my boss. Oh, my sister is so annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do, but she can't be my tutor. I need to find a bigger brain than Daisy. One that's not so mean either. Who has a bigger brain than Daisy? <laughs> I know! Abigail! She's the biggest nerd in our school. All I have to do is become best friends with her and all my troubles will be over. Hey, Molly! Hey, Brookie, I don't have time right now. Uh, when has she not had time for me? I'm her BFF. Uh, maybe she just had to run to the bathroom or something. Yeah. There's Abigail. Who would have guessed? She's in the study area, making her brain even bigger than it already is. Hey, Abigail. Um, hi. Uh, your best friend isn't here right now. Huh, what? No, I'm here to talk to you. What? You've never talked to me before in your life. I know, but I want to talk to you right now. You seem so cool. You want to be my best friend? What? No. Can't you see I'm doing something? I'm figuring out some math calculations. What? We didn't have math homework. I know. I just do this for fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? No. How do you think my brain is the biggest in the school? <gasps> Don't let my sister Daisy hear you that. She'd be super jealous if she knew you were the one that had the biggest brain. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Really? You think I have the biggest brain in the whole school? Yeah! You're amazing! <laughs> uh, you want to sit by me at lunch today? Um, yeah. Okay, sure. Perfect. See you then, Abigail! Over here, over here! Uh-huh, I see you, Molly. I saved you a seat! Oh, thanks so much. Want some pizza? No, I can't have any pizza. It has pepperoni on it. I'm allergic to pepperoni. Whoa, that really stinks. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have a banana. Molly, hey, I didn't get to see you this morning. Uh, Brookie, sorry, that seat's taken. What? I always sit by you at lunch. Yeah, but not today. Abigail is sitting there. Molly, you always saved me a seat. You didn't save me a seat? No, sorry. But, but, you're going to have to get up. Uh, hurry, Abigail's coming back. Okay, fine. Abigail, there, your seat's, your seat's empty. Okay, there you go. So why did you want to sit by me at lunch, Molly? Hey, Bookie, what's, what's going on? Whoa, you look really sad. Are you okay? No, not really. There's something really weird going on with your sister. Tell me about it. She's a real ignoramus. She didn't even want me to, to tutor her. She just wants to fail for the year, I guess. Wait, what? She didn't have you tutor her? And she doesn't want me as her best friend anymore. Wait, what? That doesn't sound like Bookie. You guys have been friends forever. Yeah, well, she didn't want to talk to me this morning. She was too busy. And she didn't save me a seat at lunch either. What has gotten into her? The reason why I wanted to sit by you at lunch is because I think you're so cool. And I think we should be good friends because we have a lot in common. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You and I have nothing in common. You never do your homework. You fail all your tests. You'd rather goof off than do anything school related. Ow. You don't even like reading about math or science or anything. We're complete and total opposites. <laughs> of something in common. Yeah, right. So basically, why do you want to hang out with me, Molly? She has a point. Think fast, Molly. Think fast. <laughs> Got it. Um, I know that you have a rivalry with my sister, Daisy. Well, who's got the biggest brain? And I'm going to help you prove that it's you once and for all. <gasps> okay, I'm listening. Well, you see, the teacher told me that if I fail one more test, <laughs> I'm going to fail for the year. I'm the biggest dunce in this entire school. Ooh. And my sister tried to tutor me, and she failed. Uh -oh. But you have the biggest brain ever. If you can help 
V-class loser actually get a good grade? It'll be proof that you have the biggest brain, Abigail. Wow, I like the sound of that. I'll meet you at your house right after school. Perfect. Hey, Molly. Oh, hey, Bricky. I've just got to get my backpack and head home. Can we talk for a minute, Molly? Could we talk tomorrow or something? Uh-oh. Um, I would really like to talk to you right now. Sorry, but I'm meeting my friend Abigail after school today, like right at 3.30 sharp. I I've got to go. But Molly, sorry, we can talk tomorrow or next week or something. Ah! I, it. I lost my best friend. And to who? That Abigail girl? They don't even have anything in common. Hello, Abigail. Hello, Daisy. Are you here to see my sister, Abigail? Uh, yeah. Is she home? We were supposed to meet here at 3.30 sharp. Good luck. She never's on time for anything. I'm here. I'm here. I I'm on time. I swear it. Wow. Oh, hey, Molly. There you are. <laughs> well, come on. Let's get started on your homework. I'm going to tutor you so good that everyone's going to know I'm the biggest brain there ever was. Okay. Anything you say, Abigail. Just help me pass this test. Okay, so the first is a word problem. If Micah has four bean burritos, and Terry has three bean burritos, and Sarah has four bean burritos, um, and you take away two bean burritos from Terry, how many bean burritos does everyone have left? Um, farts. What? What are you talking about? Uh, it doesn't really matter how many bean burritos are actually left. The only thing you have to be afraid of is all the farts. <laughs> Bully, take this seriously. I am. Bean burritos give lots of gas. The question should be, how many farts will be in the room? Bully, seriously, take this to the extreme seriousness. Okay, okay. Well, I thought Daisy was a real, well... Meanie pants. Five hours later. How much more of this do I have to do, Abigail? I was wondering the same thing. Just answer the next problem, Molly. Um, A. What? No! Oh, I give up. Yeah, me too. I'm going for a snack. Wait a minute. A snack? That's it. <laughs> Follow me into the kitchen, Molly. Why, are you hungry too? No, but I am going to prove once and for all that I have the biggest brain in the entire school. Molly, do you see these delicious tacos? Yeah, give me them, give me them. Hands off, Molly. What, no, you want to let me eat those, right? Ha, ha, ha. I'll make you a deal. If you can answer this question correctly, you can eat all of the tacos. Wow. Really? Oh, wait a minute. But I'm not very smart. How will I answer it correctly? Trust me, I think you're going to get this just fine, Molly. Look at these tacos. Now, if I had 100% of the tacos, then it would all be mine, correct? Uh, yeah, but why would you get 100% of the tacos? I want 100% of the tacos. Oh, Molly, see? You're already learning the math you're supposed to. Really? Yeah, percentages. Now, if I took away half the tacos... What would you have left? 50%. Ha ha ha. It's so working. Apparently, you just need to think of math as, well, food. So, when you're getting your test tomorrow, just imagine every question is food. Oh, Abigail, now I see why you do have the biggest brain. <laughs> yep, I'm about to prove it to everyone. <laughs> Well, I hope you don't use that big brain power to turn out to be a supervillain someday. Uh oh! Hey, Abigail, do you ever do anything fun, like ever, in your entire life? Yeah, learning is fun. I love math and science. No, I mean, you taught me something today. I'm gonna teach you something. Come on! What are you doing, Molly? What's happening? <laughs> We're going to play a game. What? No, I don't like games. Yeah, you'll love it. Trust me. You can borrow my sister's skateboard. What? I don't ride skateboard. 
Yeah, you do now. Come on, it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm not so sure about this, Molly. Live a little, Abby. Live a little. Come on. Oh my god, Molly, this is a really big hill. You can do it, Abigail. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> you can go off the diving board and flip it in the pool. Oh, uh, this is like a bad idea. It's a great idea. <laughs> Come on, Abigail. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Woo! <laughs> Wait, where'd she go? Abigail? Abigail? Well, there goes the biggest brain in school. Molly, over here. That was so crazy. I went to Brookhaven Outer Space. <laughs> Did you learn something while you were up there? Real life, you know? Like, you just learned about that in science class, and now you actually went there for real. It was so cool. I guess I just need to take a break from school and learning sometimes. Yeah, and I guess sometimes I actually need to study and, like, pay attention in school and, like, do my homework and stuff at least, like, once in a while. Yeah, I guess we both can learn something from each other, Molly. Exactly. The next day. Crookie, are you okay? No, Molly, I'm not okay. Apparently, you don't have time for your best friend anymore. What? Oh, I, I'm so sorry, Brookie. I, I've been really busy lately. Yeah, with Abigail. Yo, Molly, what's up? Oh my gosh, I had so much fun hanging out with you last night. <laughs> I rode my skateboard to school. Wait, you went and bought a skateboard? Yeah, it's so awesome, right? Wait a minute. You didn't have time for me, but you hung out with Abigail? <gasps> oh, we really aren't best friends anymore. Brookie! Ugh, just let her go. You have me now, Molly. No, Brookie's like my, been my best friend since preschool. Well, it's a good thing I'm your best friend too because you wouldn't have passed this test without me. Molly, you made Brookie really have her feelings. Oh, hello, Abigail. Oh, hello, Daisy. Uh-oh. Okay, I know you guys are, like, completely arch nemesis Someone smack or she's stuck. Molly, step out of it. Oh, yeah, arch nemesis. Okay, Molly, that's enough of that. Anyway, you guys are more alike than you think. I think you guys could be BFFs. What? Never. Uh-oh. Never. Okay, Molly, now's your chance to prove I've got the biggest brain. What? What are you talking about? You can even tutor your sister, right? You obviously don't have the biggest brain. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? If it was up to you, she'd fail every single test from here on out. But because she had me, big brain Abigail, she's finally learning how to do her math homework. And she's gonna pass this grade so easily, you just watch. Well, I tried to tutor her, but she's a pain in the butt. Ow. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna just go ahead and go to class now. You two have fun arguing. <laughs> I can't believe Daisy. I can't believe Molly. I can't believe Abigail. I can't believe it. I got an A on my test. <gasps> <laughs> talking to try to be nice sorry i'm just having a really bad moment what is it molly what happened i dropped my phone in the toilet <laughs> you did what <laughs> you made your phone swim in the toilet <laughs> it's not funny daisy my phone is ruined i could go 
say you have my monkey and give you a hug, you feel better. I don't want your monkey to feel better. I want my phone. I was right in the middle of watching this super funny video. Well, <sighs> sorry, Molly, but I don't have any money you can borrow for a new phone. I'm going to ask Mom if she'll give me money. <laughs> yeah, right. She already bought you a new phone. I know, but I've got to try. Oh, hi, Molly. I'm just making the grocery list. Is there anything special you'd like from the grocery store? Now that you mentioned it, I'd like some pop tarts, some chocolate ice cream. Don't forget the ice cream cones. Um, some chocolate bars. Ooh, the cupcakes that have like the fudge in the center and Molly. No, not a bunch of junk food. Oh, okay, I guess this day is just getting worse and worse and worse. What's wrong, Molly? You can talk to me about anything. Mom, I know you just bought me a new phone because I dropped the other one in the parking lot at school and it smashed it, but I um, had another little accident with my new phone. Wait, what? Don't tell me that you ruined your new phone. Well, I was watching this video, and I know you said don't take it into the bathroom because I'm clumsy and I'm probably going to, you know, drop it in the toilet. And, well, exactly what you said would happen. Happened! Molly, you dropped your phone in the toilet? Yeah, kind of funny, right? Daisy laughed. No, not funny. Did it ruin it? Um, yeah, and I was hoping. Would you give me some, some, some more money, Mom? Please, I, I need a new phone. Molly, I'm sorry, but... I can't afford that right now. I have to buy groceries for all of you kids and dad and I. It's all I have that's budgeted for, for groceries. I don't have money for a new phone. Uh-oh. What? What am I going to do with it out of phone? Read a book? Play outside? Um, count cheap? I don't know. Mom, that's what you do when you can't sleep. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm out of ideas then. Nobody knows. The trouble I'm in, nobody knows how sad I am. Told you, Molly, she wasn't gonna go for it. Girls, I need you to go up and clean your rooms, please. Seriously, could this day get any worse? Baby Kira and I are gonna head out to the grocery store. Are you ready, Baby Kira? I wanna be my monkey, kid, Mom. Okay, honey, let's go. <laughs> Can't stop crying. How will I Snapchat? How will I play Roblox? How <laughs> will I text Brookie? How will I call to order DoorDash? Worst day ever. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. Daisy, could you stop being so happy around me? Sorry, it's just my nature. My name is Daisy. Daisy, stop singing that song. It's driving me crazy. Whoa, you are so grumpy and rude right now, Molly. I'm just doing my chores and trying to keep a happy outlook on life. Well, there's nothing happy. I broke my phone. I sunk it to the bottom of the toilet ocean. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't supposed to not laugh there because it's not funny, but it's still really funny. <laughs> Sorry, toilet ocean. Your, your phone was like a... A sinking ship. <laughs> Daisy, my life is over. Marty, it's just a phone. Go out and live your life if you need to. I can't. My phone to Snapchat, DoorDash, texting, looking at funny videos, Roblox. Oh, Marty. Well, I guess you're just going to have to get a job. A job? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Definitely not. Jobs are worse than homework, I bet. Yeah, there's someone bossing you around, and you have to do what they say, but basically you get money for it, so I guess it's better than homework in that way. Ugh, I think I might be way too lazy for that. I'm gonna go make myself feel better by eating a cookie. Well, at least I still have you, chocolate chip cookie. Mm. Friends for life. Mm. Delicious. Uh, I guess I'll just go watch some TV. Hey, what's that over there? It's, it's money! And loads of it! Holy guacamole, it's $500! <laughs> well, I guess the hands of fate have spoken. I'm supposed to get a phone after all. 
Daisy, I'll see you later. I'm going to town. Gonna take a nice little walk. Uh-oh. Mom, can I have a chocolate bar? Well, I don't know, honey. The budget's kind of tight this week. I really want something delicious. I'll tell you what. If you're a good girl while we're in the store, I'll buy you a chocolate bar and we can split it, okay? Okay. I love it. I want the chocolate kind with your peanut butter. Oh, Reese cups. Good choice, baby Kira. I love it. I love it. Hi, welcome to Sunshine Market. Are you having a good day today? Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. <laughs> I mean, I could afford all my groceries, which is surprising because it seems like they keep going up and up and up and up. Yeah, I know. Everybody's been complaining about that recently. Okay, let me just load up your cart for you. Okay, that will be $495.98. Wow, I kept it under $500 for our whole huge family? Ah, oh, that's awesome. And that's for two weeks of groceries. Okay, where's my money? It was right here in my pocket. Um, do you have the money to pay? I don't know what happened to the money. It was right here in my pocket. And, and oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Well, I guess I'll have to pay with my, my credit card. <laughs> I've been trying to just use cash, you know, that way I don't spend more than I have. But um, I guess I'll just use my credit card and try to find the money later. Well, you need to have groceries, so I guess you will. <laughs> Hopefully you find your money, though. I'm so happy right now, because I got a new phone. <laughs> best day ever. It used to be the worst day, but now it's the best one. I have no idea where that grocery money went, except for the fact that I have, well, a little bit of a hole in my pocket, and I think that it fell out the bottom of my pocket. Oh, no. I'm okay, Mama, everything's gonna be okay. Oh, where am I gonna get $500 to pay off a credit card bill? Oh, it's gotta be around here somewhere. I just know it. Mom, what exactly are you doing? Did you lose one of your contacts again? No, I just, I lost this money and... Whoa, well, you did? I did too, Mama. I help. I help, Mama. I did it, I did it, What's everyone doing? Are we pretending we're dogs? I can play this game too. Woof! 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 No, Mama lost our money. What? What did you say? I can't understand you. You're talking baby talk. She's saying that Mom lost her money. She has a little hole in her pants pocket and the money fell right out. Wait. What? You, you lost money? H how much? $500? It was the money I was taking for the groceries. <laughs> well, you should be real more careful with your money, Mom. You shouldn't just leave it laying around. What? What are you talking about? Molly, do you know something about my missing money? If you do, you better tell me right now or else. Um, uh, uh, uh. It was, it was Daisy. What? What? I, I, I. Daisy? You are grounded for a month. But I, I, I... I can't even believe this, Daisy. Maybe from Molly, because she's sometimes naughty, but not you. I don't know what to say. I'm... I, I, I... Uh... Uh-oh. Well, Molly, thank you for telling me the truth about that. Um, you're... You're welcome? <laughs> So disappointed in Daisy. Obviously, if there's money just laying on the floor inside her house, it belongs to somebody. Why would she think she could just take it? Um, because she didn't realize that it belonged to you? Well, it belonged to somebody. People don't just leave $500 laying around, do they? I don't know. Maybe the universe just wanted you to have it. Molly, quit trying to make excuses for Daisy. It was wrong of her to not try to find the owner of the $500. Yeah, so wrong. I found the money. Well, no, baby Kira. Uh, we already found the money, and Daisy has it. I wonder what she spent it on. Mm, God, yum, 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 yum. Baby Kira, what are you eating? I found this hot dog under the couch. Oh, honey, that's super old. We ate hot dogs like a month ago. Where did that come from? Ew. 
Oh, nobody cleaned out of the couch. Ew, stop eating that, baby care. That's gross. Stop it. It's mine. I eat it if I want. Oh, gross. My life. Wait a minute. I didn't actually take the money. I just got accused of taking the money. I was so upset and emotional. I didn't think about this, well, with my brain. And the truth of it is, I just got framed. I was too busy crying and sad and upset that mom thought I did something wrong. I forgot about the fact that I didn't actually do something wrong. And now, I'm going to find out. Who did? <laughs> this video is hilarious. <laughs> Daisy, I'm on the toilet. What are you doing? Molly, where did you get that new phone? New phone? What new phone? Uh oh. Molly, you found the $500 on the floor and you bought a new phone with it, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't have a phone. I'm innocent. Molly, you framed me and you got me in so much trouble with mom. That's it. I'm telling. Mom! What? No, Daisy, you tattletale. Don't you dare. Okay, what am I going to do with this new phone? i got to hide the evidence. Oh, I can't flush it down the toilet. It's too beautiful. Don't even think about it. Daisy, you'll pay for this. Um, why are we hanging out in the bathroom, girls? Did the toilet plug again? Molly, you really need to eat less bean burritos. She flamed me. What? Well, her picture is pretty nice from school, but I didn't know you had a frame to put it in. No, Mom! Framed as in she made me guilty when she was guilty. What? No, it was Daisy. She took the $500. She bought a new phone. Check her pockets. Daisy! What? Molly, show me your pockets. Um... Molly! <gasps> uh, Molly, you are... Rounded. I'm sorry. I didn't know the $500 belonged to, to you, Mom. Well, who did you think it belonged to? Maybe Daisy. Well, did you think Daisy would want you to steal her money? Well, I figured finders keepers and losers weepers. <laughs> Molly, not in this house. Not in this house. I'm sorry, Daisy, that I accused you. Well, it was actually Molly. You were just doing your mom duties. <sighs> Molly, you are grounded for the next two weeks. And I'm going to expect you to do chores to earn that money back. Can I keep the phone? Not. Well, I don't know what to do about that, but you're grounded from it for at least two weeks. And I can't believe... Wait, did you just have the phone next to the toilet again? Uh, she did. No, you're grounded from the phone for at least a month until you can pay me back for it. Oh, let's turn back into the worst day ever again. Uh. <laughs> oh, is it morning already? Today's the day, today's the day, today's the day! Honey, why are you awake so early? Because I'm so excited! They are going to give someone a promotion at work! And I've been doing so good! I just know it's me! I'm gonna get a better job! And I'm gonna make so much more money! Well, what happens if you don't get the job? Oh, thanks for your vote of confidence! I'm just saying, honey, don't get your hopes too high up. Sometimes you don't always get what you want. Yeah, but I've been working so hard. I'm pretty sure this is going to happen. And when it does, we're going on a family vacation this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to go wake up the girls because I need to make sure I'm at work on time today. I better wake up Molly because she always has trouble getting out of bed and I literally cannot be late for work today. Molly. <sighs> Mom, Molly, did she just get up and run around her bed and then go right back to sleep? Ugh. Molly, I'm telling you, can you hear me right now? Yes, I can hear you. You need to get up or I'm going to be late and I cannot be late. Okay, Mom, I can hear you. I will absolutely get out of bed. Maybe. Right, time to wake up Daisy. I bought a wake, Mom, and doing my aerobics and I'm just getting some cardio this morning. Okay, great, Daisy. Well, I have a really important day at work, and I can't wait because I think I'm going to get a promotion. Good job, Mom. Congratulations. Have a good day, honey. I'll see you after work. Good luck with your job promotion. 
Thank you! What should I wear? I mean, today's such an important day. I have to look amazing! These are my most favorite scrubs. They're kind of like good luck for me. <laughs> and well, I think today is gonna be a fantastic day. Molly, the bus is here. <laughs> See you after school, girls. Have a great day. Well, lo and behold, my sister is late for school again. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, everybody, good morning. Just making a snap to show you my face and say, I'm still here and I'm ready to have a great day. Gotta go. Don't want to miss the school bus. Is that Molly snoring? Well, it's not Daisy. She ran out the front door. Molly! Huh? What? What? What's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's, what's going on? Molly, you were supposed to be up 30 minutes ago while on the school bus with your sister. What are you still in bed for? Uh, I accidentally fell back asleep. Molly! Ah! Uh, I have my job promotion today. Well, correction, I might not actually get the promotion, but ah, uh, get in the car. But I didn't brush my teeth yet. Brush them at school. I didn't eat breakfast. I don't know, I eat lunch when you get to school. But lunch isn't breakfast and I'll be hungry. Molly, I cannot be late for work today. Hurry, Molly, get in. Oh no, I forgot my homework. Are you serious? Yeah, and if I don't go get it, I'm gonna get detention. You don't want that, do you? Ugh, oh, Molly, hurry! Oh no, oh no, I don't want to be late for my promotion. Oh, this kid always makes me late for work. Ah! Now, where did I put my homework? The last time I had it, I was getting a snack out of the refrigerator. <laughs> uh, did I leave it in there? No, but ooh, leftover pizza. Mm, delicious. OMG, what is taking her so long? Molly! What? Ah! Uh, Molly! Oh my god, did you find your homework? Um, uh, Molly, it's up in your room. Take the pizza to go! Sorry, Mom! I bet you are. You're always sorry when you make me late for work, but today is kind of important. Come on, Molly! Coming! Oh no, I forgot my teddy bear! What? Your teddy bear? What do you need a teddy bear for? Um, it was bring your teddy bear to school day. Mom, oh, Mom, you're being kind of crazy with your driving right now. You'll have to take your teddy bear to school some other time. I cannot be late for this job promotion. Mom, stop sign. Whoopsie. <laughs> I totally paused. Mom, do you even know the way to my school? Yes, I know the way to your school. Hey, there's Daisy. Hey, get out. Mom, you just ran into the building. <laughs> um, yeah, my driving isn't that good this morning because I'm in a hurry. Bruh. Love you. Have a great day. Oh, no, my car Bye. is stuck. Ah, okay, there we go. Molly, what have you been doing? What were you doing? You just got here. No, Molly, I didn't. I actually took the trash out for the teacher. Ugh, you're such a goody two-shoes. Whoa, I drove right past the hospital. Can you guys tell that I'm a little bit nervous? Good morning, Susie. Oh, good morning, Laura. You're late again. Oh, I know, but uh, my daughter, she's just... You better go in and see him. He's waiting for you in his office. Oh my gosh, here we go. I bet he's gonna give me the promotion. Ah, I'm so excited. Good morning, Laura. Oh, good morning, Mr. Glenn. I'm so glad you called me into your office. I'm really excited this morning. And very late. Oh, sorry about that. My daughter, Molly, she's, uh, well, a little bit of trouble, but she's a good kid. She, she, she is a good kid. Uh-huh, yes. Um, but here at this job, we have expectations. Yes, and I always meet the expectations with the patients. Uh-huh. So I have something that I need to talk to you about. Uh, yes, I, I agree, and I'm really excited. You are? Yeah! This is going to be an amazing opportunity. Um, yeah, starting over can be an opportunity. Yep, a new position. Uh-huh. Well, we're gonna miss you here at the hospital. Huh? Miss me at the hospital? Wait, does this promotion mean I'm going to be working at a different location? No, what promotion? I'm not giving you a promotion. 
Wait, weren't we just talking about the promotion? I was going to be making an extra $50 an hour. No, you're not getting a promotion. You're getting fired. Wait, what? F -f 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 fired I've been working at this job for years, sir. Why am I getting fired? I don't understand. You've been late every single day for almost a month. That's because my daughter Molly, she never gets to the bus on time. I always have to drive her to school. Well, whatever the reason, we need somebody who's dependable here for this job position. So we are, well... Firing you. Firing me? F -f 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 firing me? Ah! Hey, honey, you're home. How was the promotion? Did they take the picture? Did they post it on the news? Wow, must have been mind blowing. Honey, are are you okay? <laughs> You're so excited, aren't you? <laughs> Honey, what's going on? You're freaking me out right now. I, I, I got fired. Wait, what? You got fired for what? You've been at that job forever. Plus, we need that money to help pay our bills. I. I was late again. Wait, why? Because Molly didn't get out of bed like I asked her to when I had to drive her to school. That's it. She's grounded for the rest of her life. I I don't know what I'll do. I've always worked at the hospital. I love working at the hospital. And now I'm fired. <laughs> okay, honey. It's okay. Don't, don't cry. You're a very smart woman. You could get a job anywhere. And there's lots of businesses here. Tomorrow morning, you can start off looking for a new job. I'm sure you'll find something amazing. I... I hope so. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm just making this Snapchat because I had a terrible day yesterday. I got fired from my job. But as you can see, I'm still smiling right now because today is a new day. It's actually so early in the day that um, the sun hasn't even come up yet. But I'm determined to find a new career today. So guys, wish me luck. Well, here goes nothing. I think I saw that the bank was hiring. Yeah, totally on my list. All right, let's go over to the bank and see if I can get a job there. That'd be a really good job to have. Good morning, welcome to Keep Safe Bank. How can I help you today? Oh, hi, uh, I saw that you were interviewing for new, new um, bank tellers. Oh yes, come right into my little office here. <laughs> Nothing fancy at the bank, except for all the money is pretty fancy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty good with money actually. I have so much in my savings account because uh, I had a steady job for 10 years. I mean, steady as can be. Oh, that's good to hear. You sound reliable. Um, do you have any banking um, experience? Uh, yes, I go in every Friday to cash my check. Oh, I meant like, have you worked in banking? Did you go to college for it? Uh, no. Well, what did you do for 10 years then? I worked at the hospital. Oh, sorry, hospitals and banks are a lot different. Can't work here. Oh, okay, thank you for your time, bye. Hopefully you'll get another check though so you can come back on Friday. Uh, no, I can't, I got fired. Whoa, harsh, well, good luck with the job search. Thank you. Oh, man. Okay, that's okay. It's just one job that I didn't get. I'm sure I can find something else. According to my list, Pop Palace is hiring. They have rare exotic pets. Do they call hamsters rare and exotic? I could totally do this job. Hamsters and dogs and cats. Welcome. Please wait for the staff. Okay, well, are you staff? Yes, but we have to say that because sometimes our animals get a little crazy and they think they can talk to them. <laughs> oh, very funny. Hey, I'm looking for a job. This seems like a great place to me. Whoa. <laughs> What's that over there? Lady, if you've never seen a monkey before, you probably shouldn't be working here. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say what's that. I knew it was a monkey, but you guys have a pet monkey? Yeah, he's so crazy. Sometimes he likes to throw poo-poo at yeah. the customers. <laughs> You're so funny. No, for real. Watch out! What? Ew, it landed on my head! Sorry about that. I told you the monkey was kind of crazy. OMG! Ew, why is it blue? 
This monkey loves blueberries. <laughs> you get it? What? Um, yeah, I don't want to work here. But you'd be great at the job. He loves you. No, thank you. Oh, this job search is not going so well. Park is hiring and, well, I need to work somewhere. Now, where is the manager? Yo, what's up? You looking for a job? Oh, I'm a little frazzled right now, but hey, why you got to poop on your head? Oh, no, I forgot to wipe that off. Excuse me. I'll just use my phone like a mirror, that way I can see it. And oh my god, I'm on Snap! And I just sent it to everybody! Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Oopsie, having the worst day ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was kind of funny. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to you? Uh, I was just doing a little maintenance on one of the pieces of uh, amusement park ride equipment, and um, things didn't go quite as I planned. So, um, do you have any uh, experience? Uh, no, I'm not really into amusement parks, but I'm super smart, and, um, I'm sure I can do this. Okay, well, we have one rule before you get hired here. Okay, I'm sure I can meet it. What is it? You actually have to ride the rides to make sure that you're excited about the job. What? What? Why? Because we're all about bringing fun to everyone here. And if you're not having fun, our customers won't be having fun. <gasps> Go ahead, get on the roller coaster. Um, I'm not really a big roller coaster person. I hope you didn't just say that, because you're not going to get hired. Okay, fine. I'll get on the roller coaster. Fine. Enjoy your ride. It's probably going to be super fun and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it sure will be if you really like <laughs> roller coasters. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay, just try not to lose your lunch, Laura. Keep from throwing up. Nope, I'm definitely gonna. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, you can't work here. Well, at least get me off of here. Sorry, it's a 10 minute ride. Ah! Just kidding, get off the ride. Also, you're not a good candidate. Oh, I think I might have left some throw up in your car. That's all right, I'll take care of it. Sorry. God, I'm out of job options. We're gonna be homeless. Ah! Well, I guess there's only one choice left. Hey, what can I get for you? <laughs> McDonald's, by the way. Oh, hi. Um, can I speak to your manager, please? Why? What happened? Did you get like, um, like a rat in your French fries or something? <laughs> what? No. I just am looking for a job. I need the manager. I want to speak to them about getting a job. Well, you're speaking to the manager. What? You're like 16 years old. You still have a bunch of pimples. How can you be the manager? Well, get used to it, lady, because you'd be working for me if you want a job at McDonald's. Ow! Ugh. Seriously? I'm working for a teenager? Ugh! So, do you want the job or not? We're a bit short-handed, and I could use somebody right now. drive through is getting crazy. Well, I guess so. I need a job. And it's better than being homeless. Well, come on back here. I'll get you a uniform. Don't forget to say welcome to McDonald's. Okay... <laughs> is this uniform what they wear at McDonald's? Oh, we just got that updated uh, about a week ago. <laughs> you look awesome. And a little bit old in that uh, Happy Meal <laughs> hat. I mean, what are you, like 50? What? No, I'm not 50. Well, like I'm just saying, you're not like 15 or 16. No, I'm not. I should be the manager of this place. Okay, here's the drive through window. Make sure you're polite. You say hello. You didn't do that. Well, yeah, okay, but I'm the manager. I get to do what I want. <gasps> Take a look around the place, though. Make sure you know what everything, where everything is. I see that. Okay, fine. Oh, I can't believe I'm working at McDonald's drive through How embarrassing that I'm a grown-up and having to wear this silly hat. Dad, I really want to have a Happy Meal. Okay, Molly, okay. And Dad, also, what's going on with your stash? I mean, that's new. Just trying something different. It looks like you have a caterpillar on your upper lip. <laughs> Very funny, Molly. Hi. Welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you? Mom? What are you doing? And what are you wearing? <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Actually, I would be really careful what you say to your mom because you're kind of the reason why she's working here. And what? Why are you working at McDonald's? I couldn't get any other job. And I didn't want us to be homeless. Oh, honey. 
I'm sure something else will come along, but for now, you do look pretty cute in that Happy Meal hat. Aww. Oh, I feel so dumb! Okay, well, um, anyway, enough talking. Come on, do your job. What? Yeah, uh, Molly wants a Happy Meal, and I would like a Big Mac meal, please. Okay, fine. We love you, honey. Have a good shift. Yeah, thank you. Hey everyone, it's me, Laura. I can't believe I'm actually making this Snapchat right now. So I'm su super embarrassed by this, but I'm wearing a Happy Meal on my head. It even has two chicken nuggets on the sides and fries <laughs> on the back. I feel ridiculous. Please just say something nice to me so that I feel better because I'm having a terrible day. Okay, bye. Oh, yay. <sighs> Another customer. Okay, just try to be friendly, Laura, even though you hate your life right now. Hello? Are you going to take my order? Um, yes, but could you get a little closer to the window? It's it's really far away. I'm not going to be able to hand you your food like that, please. Oh, how rude. I can't believe you're talking to me like that. Uh, well, I, I can't reach you from all the way over there, and I want to be able to hand you your food. Like, you know, I don't want to drop your chicken nuggets on the ground. Fine, I'll back up. You need to go to McDonald's, jeez. Um, okay. <sighs> breathe, 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 okay. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Um, what can I get for you today? How about a better attitude? I mean, every time I come through here, there's somebody that's grumpy. Oh, sorry about that. Um, what can I get for you? I'll have a 20-piece chicken McNuggets with french fries and, um, a Coke. Okay, um, sure. Um, that would be $35. What? $35? When did the prices at McDonald's go so high? Um, about four years ago or so. Oh, I can't believe this. McDonald's isn't even, like, what I really wanted. Well, you could always go to Burger King across the street. Just give me my order. Okay, fine. Bacon, is the order up yet? No. I was busy making a Snapchat. Oh, yeah, but this lady, she really wants her food, and I really want her gone. She's really miserable. Hey, listen, Happy Meal Head, I'll get it done when I get it done. Okay. I'm sorry, ma'am, but um, your order's taking a little longer than normal. Could you please pull up? What? You want me to pull up? Ugh, this is so annoying. Sorry, uh, it's just you, we're making your food really fresh. Yeah, that's it. Bacon, make that food! Was this what you ordered? Oh, we don't even serve popcorn here! What are you doing? Oh, you think that you're the manager or something? No, but I should be. This is ridiculous! Okay, I can't wait till this lady goes away. She seems really grumpy. Okay, where's she park? Oh, wait, there she is. She's still at the order window. What's she doing? Hey, I didn't feel like pulling forward. Oh, okay, well, here's all your meal, and, um, you have a wonderful day. Thank you. This food better be fresh. It is. Bye! Ugh. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I have to work here. This is, like, the worst day of my life. Bacon! Get rid of Get with it! You're supposed to make the food! Uh, we have a customer, and you're yelling at the manager. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, this girl who's yelling at you, she didn't even give me any napkins. That's <gasps> true. I gave you three napkins. Well, I wanted five. Okay, but you're only one person. How many napkins do you need? Are you the biggest slob in the world? Uh oh Whoa. Um, sorry, lady, but obviously you don't understand how to be a good McDonald's, you know, employee and teammate. You're fired. Wait, what? I got fired from McDonald's? get to take a happy meal home i'm hungry you said i got a free meal on my lunch break no what i want my happy meal oh. Oh. this is the worst day ever ew what's that horrible smell i don't know i think it smells good oh it's just your mom yeah it's just your mom smelling like greasy french fries mm. greasy french fries mom I think you should work there every single day for the rest of your life. Well, that's impossible since I got fired. What? Boop that like button if you love cookies. Hey guys, 
In today's video, you're going to see why you should always try to be nice to others because you never know what someone will be going through. Molly and Daisy's family seems, well, really nice. I mean, not perfect, but super, super nice. Hey, honey, what's for dinner? Um, I thought we could have tacos. <gasps> One of my favorites. Well, we'd have to wait for Daisy. I'll set the table. Thanks, honey. I really appreciate all of your help. Molly, would you feed the dogs? <coughs> Ugh, do I have to? Yes, Molly. You have to. And we'll wait till Daisy gets home from her dance competition before we eat our tacos. Meanwhile, at my house, things aren't so perfect. Brookie, I'm home. Hey, Dad. I'm in the kitchen. Hey, honey. How was school today? It was okay. Oh, are you still struggling with missing your mom? Yeah, I mean, I know it's been a few months since she died, but <sighs> I just still really miss her. I think we'll miss her forever, honey, but I have a new somebody that I want you to meet. Really? Who? Hi, I'm Karen! Oh, um, <gasps> Dad, I wasn't expecting your new friend to be, well, a girl. Well, Karen and I met, um, well, the other day. She works at the local restaurant. She owns it. Karen's drive through Have you heard of it? Um, yeah, Dad. This is the owner of Karen's drive through Everyone thinks she's, like, totally miserable. <laughs> what? No, Karen's so amazing. And, um, her and I have been dating. <laughs> dating? <gasps> Wait. What? Dad! No! What about Mom? Honey, we have to move on with our lives. We can't, you know, just think about that forever. Come on, Karen's really nice. Give her a chance. Ugh, well, ugh, I just, I don't know what to say, okay? Excuse me, Karen. I need to run to my room and be dramatic about this and you're right in my way. Ugh, I thought she might have this reaction. It's fine! Kids love me! Trust me! Wow! Okay, Karen, well, I hope you're right, because my Brookie, she means the world to me, and I just think she's really struggling with this since her mom died. Oh, don't worry about a thing! I'm gonna be like a new mom for her! Okay, I, I really hope she accepts you. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything will be fine, Lou! Hey, everybody. I'm making this snap because I just found out my dad has a new girlfriend already. Her name is Karen. She owns Karen's drive through downtown. And I always heard she's like, ugh, terrible. And, well, I'm not sure that I want anyone to take my mom's place ever. Okay, well, that's all. If you think this was bad, you should see what happens in a couple of weeks when my dad decides to move Karen into our house. And then he gives me the biggest, worst announcement. Finally, some time away from my new roommate, Karen. Honey, where are you, Brookie? Oh, there you are, sweetie. Hey, um, I, I gotta tell you something. Oh, is it that Karen's moving out? Yay! No, uh, honey, uh, are you having a problem with Karen? Well, actually, Dad, I was thinking that maybe it could be just... Hi! <laughs> Are you ready, honey? Let's make our announcement to her. I can't wait to be your new mommy. Oh, uh, Karen, maybe now's not such a good time. It's a perfect time, Lou. <laughs> Brookie, we're getting married. Ah! Wait, what? I, I, I don't know what to say. Say you're excited for us. Your dad and I are going to live happily ever after. Honey, are you okay? Sweetie, I want you to be okay with this. Of course she's okay with it, Lou. Who wouldn't want a new mommy after all the bad things that have happened? We're going to be BFFs, Brookie. I already have a BFF. Her name is Molly. Honey, just try to be nice to Karen. She's going to be your stepmom from now on. I... Hi. Uh -huh. Bye, sweetie. I have to go to work, but I'm sure you and Karen were going to have the best day ever while I'm gone. Uh-huh. Sure, Dad. I 
just miss mom. I wish she was here right now. Oh, bye-bye, Lou. Have a great day. <laughs> Do you think that you're going to just sit around and be lazy when I'm here? What? What are you talking about, Karen? You will call me mother. No, I won't. I'm not calling you mother. Excuse me. I want to go to the kitchen and get a snack. You aren't going anywhere. You want to earn a snack? Clean these floors now. Wait, what? That's right. I don't need you just sitting around here being lazy all day. When I'm here, what I say goes. You can't talk to me like this. I'll tell my dad. And ruin the little bit of happiness he has? Oh, you selfish little spoiled brat. Ow. Well, she has a point. My dad does seem really happy with Karen. I guess I'll do what you say, Karen. Good. Start doing all these chores, you brat. Okay. Uh, Karen, I finished all my chores. Um, could I go outside and get some fresh air now? No. Now you can make me a snack and then go to your room and be quiet. Um, okay, I'll make you a snack. Here you go, Karen. I made you a whole pizza. Is that good? Wow. Yeah, it'll do. But, um, did you put carbs in that? Well, yeah, it's pizza. It has lots of carbs. Ugh, fine. I guess I'll eat it. But you better try harder for my afternoon snack. Now go to your room. Um, okay. Oh my god. This is the worst life ever. I, I just don't even want to live in this house anymore. It's so terrible. <laughs> I miss my mom. I have the worst life ever right now. <laughs> I wonder who that is. <laughs> Hey there, BFF. What's up? Hey, Molly. I'm so sad. I guess talking to your BFF is the best thing to do when you're having problems. My dad is marrying Karen. And she's, well, a Karen. She's mean and and crazy. <laughs> well, you have to tell your dad. I can't. He's so happy. Rookie, are you in your room? Are you in the bathroom? You better not be using my curling iron. Ugh, gotta go. Where are you? I can't even find you. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I can hide from Karen. If I hide from her, she can't find me. Then she can't be mean to me anymore. Molly, help. Are you seriously on your phone? Did I approve you being on your phone? Who on earth could that be? Go answer the door. Um, okay, stepmother. I didn't say you could call me stepmother. I said you should call me mother. <laughs> DoorDash for Karen. Molly, Shh, just play along. <laughs> she doesn't know what I look like. What? DoorDash? Who ordered this? I did. That's why I was on my phone. Because you said the lunch was really terrible, so I decided to or order you some gluten-free options from DoorDash with my own money, of course. Well, I guess you're just trying to get on my good side, which is a good thing, because I'm your new mother. I'm going to go eat my snack. Okay, I'll just let the DoorDash person out. Molly, hurry, come on. Come up to my room. Whoa. Your stepmom is like evil. She's not my stepmom yet. Brookie, why you keep laying it down? Are you needing a nap or something? No, it's this game. It always glitches. It makes me try to lay down. Um, okay. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. We have to get you out of here, but how? I think, um, we could try to sneak out. Are you sure? Yeah, 
Well, um, let me see what I have in my bag to help us sneak out of here. Yeah, because I don't think these windows actually open. Ugh, Roblox. Why don't you make windows that open so I can get out? Ooh. Uh, yeah, sorry. I don't have anything in my bag except for, well, a half-eaten cupcake from yesterday, an old piece of gum, and... Okay, Ooh. Molly, that's okay. You don't have to tell me everything. Well, I also had some toilet paper in there. Toilet paper? Why? Because one time I went to Walmart and I had to go to the bathroom and they didn't have any toilet paper. Oh, oh why did I eat that bean burrito? Wait a minute. Where's the toilet paper? Oh my god! Oh my god! There's no toilet paper! Oh! <laughs> Man, that was a terrible memory. Thanks for asking me to relive it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I see why you care to carry toilet paper with you everywhere you go. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's just sneak out, Brookie. I'm sure your evil soon-to-be stepmom or whatever, evil Karen, whatever you want to call her, won't even notice. She'll be too busy chowing down on the food I brought. Molly, be super careful. Our house is very old. The floors squeak. Yeah, we don't want to get caught. Exactly. I see the door. We can get out of here. Is somebody there? Uh-oh. Caught. Hide. Where are you, Brookie? Ugh. Really? Did you think you were going to trick me with that hiding spot? Well, our house doesn't really have any hiding places, but wouldn't it be fun to play hide and seek? Mother? <laughs> ha! Ha! Achoo! What was that? Was that the DoorDash person? Um, yeah. Wait a minute. You look like the picture I've seen of Brookie's BFF in her bedroom. Uh -oh. Is your name Molly? Um, uh, uh yes. <laughs> work for DoorDash. Yeah, that's it. I think you're both liars. You want to know what? You want to play hide and seek? Great. If I find you after five minutes of hiding, you're grounded for life! Uh-oh! Molly, where should we hide? I think we should split up. Then at least one of us will get grounded and not the other. And maybe the other one can go get your dad or whatever. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to be split up from you, Molly. We have to, Brookie. Good luck. Thanks, Molly. You too. I never realized how terrible my house is for hide and seek. Ooh. Where should I go? Where should I go? The time is ticking. The time is ticking. Oh, I know. I have a good spot. I think. Okay. Um, I just, I need to lay down. And then I can hide in those bushes, I think. Uh, let me see. Uh, that should work, right? Okay, let's see if I can just, like, over here like this. Oh, I'm sticking out too far. Oh, my God. Maybe these bushes over here. <laughs> Look how I'm going across the ground. That looks really weird. Hey, guys. Um, maybe this bush over here. 20 seconds till I ground you for life. Oh, God. God. Yeah, I don't think you can see me here. Oh, no, you can still see me a little bit. Right, I think this is the best bush to hide in over here. Oh, if I could just turn my body a certain way. This would work perfectly. Oh my god! Okay, my legs are still hanging out! Ready or not, here I come! Oh, Brookie, good luck! Hmm. Where are you, girl? I want to ground you for the rest of my life. <laughs> Ow, she stepped on my finger! Ow! Don't scream, Brookie, don't scream! Hmm. Seems I can't find her. She's very good at this game. But I'll never give up and never surrender. Bratty, spoiled kids. I can't even believe how bratty they are. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Achoo! Ugh, allergies! Ha ha ha. Found you, brat. Now you're grounded for life. Ooh. Wait, what? I, 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 I didn't mean to, to, to cause any trouble and... Grounded. For life! Wait a minute. Uh, you're not my mom. What? But I'm a grown-up. So I can decide if you're grounded or not. Uh, and no? Also no and no. You're not my mom, so you don't get to ground me. Get a clue, Karen! She's distracted with Molly. Maybe if I jump on this trampoline, I can jump high enough to get over the fence in the backyard and run to my dad. It worked! Oh my gosh, I just need to run as fast as 
fast as I can. I see the town. I see the town. Where do you think you're going? Oh, oh, Karen, um, uh. I found you. And now you're grounded for life. Seriously, Karen, get out of my way. I don't think so. I'm your mother now. So call me mother. Another snowstorm. Mm, this donut tastes pretty good, though. Maybe it's not as cold out as I think it is. Oh no, it's freezing! Oh, totally, Molly. But that's okay. We can always find something fun to do inside. Yeah, like your donuts, Molly. It's a new year. It could be a new year, new you. Blah blah blah. I like the old me. Well, um, the old you wears terrible outfits. And, um, eats way too many donuts. So judgy, this one. Listen, I like Molly just the way she is. If you don't, that's your problem, girlfriend. Well, I'm just saying, I think you'd be really, really helped out by my new TikTok idea. You have TikTok? Well, not yet, but I'm gonna sign up. It's called New Year, New You. Oh, like I haven't heard that one before. Yeah, but it's all about, like... Having great fashion, um, even cooking healthy meals. Well, pretty soon, in about a week, you can turn your TikTok channel to eating terrible meals for beginners or for advanced people. Because basically, everybody in the new year wants to be healthy and whatever for like a week, and then they just decide, meh, and they eat all the donuts. <laughs> I just skip all that and just keep eating the donuts. Molly, seriously, stop eating that donut. I'm going to make an amazing TikTok. Now stay out of the kitchen and don't interrupt my healthy cooking TikTok. Yeah, okay, whatever. She gone. Okay. Back to eating a delicious donut. As you can see here, I'm making a delicious apple that's baked in the oven. Super delicious and good for you. Hey, I'm Molly, her slob of a sister. I dress bad and I eat way too many donuts. Molly, get out of my TikTok. <laughs> I'm pushing send. <laughs> it's uploaded on your TikTok. Nah, 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 nah. Molly, how could you? Wait a minute. I already got 10 likes on that. Wait, what? They think that we're funny together? Yeah. You're funny looking. Molly, rude! Oh my god, now we have a thousand people liking it. Oh my god, Molly! It went up to 50,000! What? It's been like 30 seconds. Mm. I'm getting more TikTok subscribers before I even finish this donut. Ugh. Okay, now I got a little bit of a stomach ache. And these pants are getting a little tight. Molly! We're going to be TikTok famous. So TikTok fans, if you want to have these adorable pigtails like I have, you just have to brush your hair exactly like this. Daisy, get out of the bathroom. I have to go. <laughs> Molly, I'm making a TikTok. What do you want? I need to use the potty. Seriously, Molly? Well, I guess a TikTok gold. Well, whatever, but get out. Okay, TikTok fans, I'm going to show you how to get your beach body just in time for spring break. That's why right, let's start off with some jumping jacks in this new year, new you. Um, you could do all that, or you could say whatever, and sit on your couch and eat lots of donuts, till your pants don't fit, till your stomach explodes. Sounds like the good life to me. Molly! You could have put another TikTok. Ha ha ha. I don't think I'm ruining them. Everybody loves my personality. Holy guacamole. Macaroni and cheese. Hot dogs with ketchup. Yeah, Molly, we get the point. Food, food, and food. I can't believe that our TikTok has 1.5 million people that are fans. I know, right? This is amazing. We should go celebrate with um food. Molly, no. New Year, New You is all about healthy choices. And we could do something like yoga as a celebration. Is my sister kidding me right now? Like, seriously? Yoga? No, girl. You earned this. We're going for an ice cream. Well, they do have the frozen yogurt option, so I guess it's okay. Uh, Daisy, life is about balance. Sometimes that balance means eating ice cream. 
Don't be such an nincompoop. Molly! I'm just saying. Sometimes you just really need to have an ice cream. And girl, you need one. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. What can I get for you? I have a scoop of everything. Molly, new you, new you. You mean new year, new you? Yeah, whatever. Get one scoop, Molly. Wow, who knew you were so bossy? Well, I am a health guru now. TikTok even said so. Oh my god. It's Molly and Daisy. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I'm such a huge fan. I have to go say hi to them. Did you just hear that? I think that girl knows who we are. Nah, it must be a different Molly and Daisy. We're not that famous. Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to my TikTok. And I'm here with Molly and Daisy. And hey, we didn't agree to be on your TikTok. Molly, come on, she's a fan. Don't be rude. Okay, well, she should have asked permission first. I, 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 I don't even look my best. Molly, you always look like that. Okay, but all right, she has a point. OMG, I can't believe it. This is amazing. What? You guys are famous and you're here at my at my ice cream shop? Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Um, yeah, we really are that famous, Daisy. Yeah. I realized that. Aren't you excited? New Year, New You on TikTok is doing amazing. It's blowing up. But Molly, everybody knows who we are everywhere now. Can I get your autograph? Yeah, me too. And I want a picture. And can you be in my YouTube video? And and also, can you come home and um just like sign my cat? How am I going to sign your cat? Oh, it's, it's a cat that doesn't have any fur. So you could use a Sharpie. No, I'm not going to sign the cat. Hi, yi, yi. I just want my ice cream, and, and I want to just go sit down. Daisy, are you okay? You seem like you're freaking out about being a celebrity. Because, Molly, I am. But you wanted New Year, New You on TikTok. Yeah, but now that I got fame, I want to give it back. Come on, Molly. Let's just go home and hide out. Good idea if you don't want to be famous, which I kind of do. No, Molly, I'm telling you. I can always see into the future. Wait, you can't? Are you some sort of like magical human or something? No, I'm just really smart. And this, this isn't going to go well at all. Well, if you say so, I think being famous is amazing. Finally, home sweet home. No people talking about how famous we are or anything. Yeah, but seriously, don't you want to be famous? I don't know, Molly. Seems kind of crazy to just go places and everybody recognizes you. What if I had ice cream on my face during that girl's TikTok? Oh, you could be like me and don't care. I'm eating a donut right now. And I don't really care if anybody sees. Hi, um, I didn't get a picture with you guys and so I followed you home. What? You can't follow us home. That's wrong and rude. <laughs> ha, ha, achoo! Ew, Molly, cover your nose. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to sneeze. Achoo! Molly, did you get sick? I don't know, maybe that fan had a cold and she got super close to me and gave it to me. Ew, germs! Well, I think you better get used to it because it seems like we're going to be mobbed by fans from here on out. We need a security camera. And maybe a fence. Whoa. What's that? Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's someone who looks just like me because they saw my videos about how to do pigtails. Hey, I love you. I want to be just like you. <laughs> oh my god, that's... Achoo! Creepy. Ugh. One of the fans definitely got me sick. I don't feel so good. <sighs> Molly, do you want a donut? Maybe to make you feel better. No, I don't want a donut. Now I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, that sounds so gross. Uh oh. Whoa, she really is sick. If going to eat a donut's going to make her throw up. <laughs> Did you see that TikTok where Molly was like, don't work out. Just like hang out and eat on the couch. And <laughs> shove your face full of donuts. Yeah, I totally loved that one. It was hilarious. <laughs> we could be BFFs since we're such Molly and Daisy fans. I don't feel so good. Am I drooling? I don't know. I'm too busy over here vegging on the couch. Uh, 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 who got us sick? They aren't super fans. They're terrible fans. Hello, this is Bruce Springer for Action News. Today I have a break.
groundbreaking story. The new famous TikTokers, Molly and Daisy, are very sick. If you like reality TV, you're gonna love this one. Watch them puke! Watch them sneeze snot everywhere! Watch them run to the potty! Are you serious? Get out of our house! This one's obviously rude in real life. I don't know if you should like her. Oh, uh, maybe unsubscribe. What? Don't tell people that! Rude! Get out! Molly, there's only one thing left to do. Run! I don't know if I can run. I gotta go potty! Oh, hello, adoring fans. It's me, Bruce Springer. Get out of the way, Bruce. I just want to be your friend. Come back, Molly. Come on. We could be BFFs. Get away from me, crazy Daisy wannabe. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Come on. I could build a house right next door to you. It would be so much fun, right? No. Stay away from me. Hurry, Molly. Come down here into my science lab. Okay, I wasn't going to tell you about this, but I've been working on a new project. Is it quitting TikTok? Well, no, I mean, we're already famous at TikTok. Kind of hard to go back now, but I have a solution. Well, I hope it's a good one. Ha, ha, chew! Because I don't feel good, and I don't want Bruce Springer, like, putting me on the news when I'm sick. Ha, chew! Come here, Marley, I want to show you something. What is that? A giant person made out of jello? Sort of, Molly. I haven't quite finished programming it yet. But in a moment's time, you'll see what I'm up to. Well, I don't know, Daisy. This seems a little like weird science to me. Uh, Daisy, I think you're cooking your jello, man. Don't worry, Molly, that th this is going to work. It just has to. Holy macaroni and cheese. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a clone! That's right, Molly. And I'm making one for you, too. Which means next time, when someone thinks it's us, it won't be us at all. It'll be our clone. Watch this. Hey, Daisy Clone. Hey, I just want to let you know, you guys are the best fans in the whole world. See? Daisy Clone is amazing. I had to sit down for a minute. I'm a little lightheaded about how awesome I am to design this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's Daisy. Hi. Hi. I'm your biggest fan. I'm even wearing Daisy pants because, you know, your name is Daisy, just like the flower. And, oh, my God. Where's Molly? Hi. You're the nicest fans in the world. I love you. Whoa. She said she loved us. Did you hear that? I totally did. Oh, my God. That's amazing. So, um, will you sign an autograph? Sure, I'll sign an autograph. You're the most amazing fans in the world. I love you. Holy guacamole! The Daisy clone is working! Now we just need a clone of me, and it's all smooth sailing. <laughs> that was the longest day of school ever. <gasps> Thank goodness I'm home at my mansion. Ah, I'm gonna just chill, maybe get in the pool. You know. Hey, somebody let me in. The security system doesn't seem to be working. Hello? Hello? Oh, my family just bought this house. And for some reason, the security system just doesn't work for me. Thank you, baby Kiwa. Jeepers. My little baby sister had to let me into my own house. <laughs> but this is my new house and it's amazing. I love it. Hey, how was school today? It was good. Um, but mom, are you going to make us go to a private school? Wait, what? No. Why? Because we're really rich and I thought that's what you do. You go to private school. No, you girls can still go to public school with all your friends. That's fine. Yeah, um, and also our school is a really good one, right, mom? Yeah, it's a pretty good school for, for you know, this area. Are there better schools? If not, why aren't we at it? And Molly, why you look so grumpy? Because I'm still waiting for dinner to be done. And I asked mom when the cook gets here and she said that she has the stomach bug so she can't cook for us. And mom has to cook. And mom, it takes forever when she cooks dinner. What? The cook has a stomach bug? But mom, we're starving. Look at Molly, her face is so sad. Gosh, girls, you can wait 30 minutes for dinner. Yeah, I guess I can. Hey, Bob, can I take a snap with you? Sure you can, Daisy. Why do you want to take a snap with me? Um, you'll see, because I have to ask you a question. 
Oh no, what is it? This isn't truth or dare, is it? No, Mom, the question is, um, you're gonna buy me the new iPhone, right? Wait, what? No, Daisy, I just bought you a new iPhone two months ago. I know, but a new one came out and I absolutely need it. It has a slightly better camera. And my phone case won't work, so I need a new phone case. Daisy, no, I just, I just bought you an iPhone. Okay, you said no. I'm gonna send it to everybody in town to show you how mean my to show them how mean my mom is. What? Daisy, don't do that. Well, then you should probably get me the new iPhone. Uh oh. Mom, mom. Um, I was wondering, can I buy this um new video game on Roblox? I need some Roblox. No, I just gave you money for Robux yesterday. Ooh. Well, Mom, you have a lot of money. Give us more. Mom, I want to buy this game on Roblox, and I need more Robux. What did you spend your Robux on in one day? Um, well, uh, um, you know, just a bunch of stuff. Well, you'll have to wait until next week. And no, Daisy, you're not getting a new phone. Okay, I'll send everybody that Snapchat of you being the bean, Mom. The mean mom? What? I do so much for you girls. I get your boy, you get your boy. I'm on your path to find you, mama. I get your boy. I'm your path to find you. What's wrong with the pacifier you got in your mouth? She saw an advertisement for one that's made out of gold. What? You're not getting a gold pacifier? Are you kidding? Besides, gold pacifiers probably taste disgusting. Yeah. She wants it though, mom. And shouldn't she get it? Why are you standing on the table, baby Kira? It's like I've raised a bunch of animals. You both, all of you, 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 and you are spoiled, spoiled, and also little miss spoiled. Ooh. What? No, we're not, mom. So, we're not spoiled, we're just, well, um, we have money. Yeah, mom, we have some money. Correction, I have some money and so does it your dad. You're the kids, so you have no money because you haven't earned it. What? Mom! Sorry, but you kids are spoiled. Do you even know what it's like to live as a poor person? Um, no, but I don't really want to. <laughs> oh, that's it. You girls have an assignment. This is at school. Yes, it is. And until you complete the si assignment, you're both grounded. I could get a good path to find you. No, baby Kira. No, you're not. Okay, what's the assignment? And then can I have some Robux? Ha, ha, ha. No. And then you can stop being grounded for being spoiled. Whoa. Something tells me she's the weird strict mom. Yes, yes I am. Now, your assignment is... Sorry, Mom. I, I can't talk to you right now. Someone texted me. Uh-oh. Molly! What? I, I've got to talk to Brookie. She needs me. Molly, you're grounded. Until you complete your assignment... Which is, I want you each to go out and see what it's like to live as a poor person. Whoa, 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 whoa. And also, no. Well, completed or you're grounded for life. Whoa, grounded for life. Okay, I guess I better do the assignment. I don't know why my mom thinks I'm so spoiled. I mean, doesn't everyone have this calamitous pool? Daisy, you're hanging out in the pool. You're grounded. Oh, boy, I can't even get in my pool. Doesn't everyone have this beautiful backyard where you can cook out in? Daisy, don't even think about cooking out. You're grounded. Oh, grounded from everything. Look at this adorable pool house. Um, well, actually, now my dad uses it as a garage because he was like, I don't have any way to store the lawnmower. So anyway, it was a cute little pool house, but now it's not. Daisy, did you start working on your assignment? Whoa, she really is the wheel strict mom. Ah! Hey everybody, it's me, Daisy, and I am grounded for being spoiled. Isn't that <gasps> ridiculous? I think that's totally ridiculous. And I just <laughs> want to say that, um, basically, I don't think I'm that spoiled, but my mom said I'm grounded until I can see some evidence of how poor people live. So, um... Uh, yeah, I'm downtown, just looking for poor people. So far, no one looks poor, so I don't know what she's talking about. Pew, what's that horrible smell? Yeah. What, what is that guy doing? 
Did he just like fall? Have you fallen and kick it up? Oh, I found this the smell. It's coming from that guy. Well, there's a lot of flies around him. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Why are you talking so loud? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Go away. Um, sleeping under a park bench? That's not a great place to take a nap. It is when you live here. Um, why do you live here? Where's your house? Uh, I'm too poor for one. Oh, uh, wait, could I just Snapchat this for a second? Hey, um, it's me, Daisy. Mom, I found my first poor person. What? Hey, that's not very nice. Could you talk to me a little nicer? Oh, sorry about that. Um, you see, I'm very rich. Thanks for rubbing that in. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just saying, I'm rich, and my mom said I'm a brat, so I have to understand what it's like to live as a poor person. Okay, well, come have a seat then. Um... Uh, Okay. Now sit here all day. What? Uh, why? Because you've got nowhere else to be. You don't have a house. Oh. Well, at least it's nice out. Wait till it rains or snows or hurricanes. Uh, yeah, that's not very nice. Have you got any change? Um, no. I just have a credit card. My mom and dad pay for it. Wow, you are spoiled. What a brat. <gasps> That wasn't very nice. Well, I guess you're just rude then. No, you're just spoiled, so you don't like to hear the truth. Really? Yeah. Now give me 50 cents. I'm hungry, and I want to go get a Twinkie from the, the convenience store. Um, yeah. Okay, I think I have like a dollar. But you only had a credit card. Wow, you're spoiled and a liar. I'm not a liar. I just... I never think that I have, like, a dollar in my pocket. But I actually found three dollars. Whoa, jackpot! Yeah, I hope things get better for you. Um, what's your name? You can call me Smelly. That's what everyone else calls me. Oh, I'm sorry, Smelly. Um, but, uh, yeah, have a nice life. You too, rich girl. Bye! OMG, I can't believe it. I just ran into my first poor person and, um, well, um, oh, I don't know why I did that. I was trying to be serious. There's no serious here. Okay. Um, and it was kind of sad. Lives on that park bench. He had a lot of flies around him. I gave him three dollars. I never thought that my life was different than everyone else's, but I guess it is. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get you started for you today? Uh, yeah, um, let's see. Let me get a cappuccino and a, uh, oh God, I want all the sweets. Well, do you have money to pay for them? Of course I do, duh. Do you think I'm like poor or something? Uh, no, but there are people in this town who can't afford this delicious stuff. It's too expensive. Oh, well, yeah, my mom basically told me I have to find those people and find out how they live. Oh, well, you can probably go see Lou. He lives down at the marina. He doesn't have a house. Wait, what? He doesn't have a house? No, he doesn't. Um, okay, let me just get your order for you. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Whoa, are you Lou, the homeless guy? Um, yeah, who's asking? Me, Molly, the spoiled rich girl. Oh, that cookie smells so good. Uh, yeah. This is delicious. Uh, do you think I could have the rest? What? No. This is my cookie and I'm hungry. Oh, when was the last time you ate? I ate about an hour and a half ago. This is just a snack. <laughs> I eat a lot. The last time I ate was two days ago. And it was a rotten, um... I think hot dog and moldy bread. Ew, gross! Why are you in that trash can? Well, see, when I duck down, basically people don't see I'm in the trash can, and then they throw their rotten food in here, and then I can eat it. Whoa, that sounds terrible. <gasps> yeah, that's why I asked if I could eat your cookie. I'm starving. Oh, Lou, I'm I'm sorry. Um, I still have to eat this cookie. I'm starving. You're spoiled! What? No, I'm not. I just have money to buy a cookie, and you don't. That's so rude. You're gonna eat it right in front of me? Why are you so mean? Uh-oh! 
Um, because I just love cookies. But I think I have, like, some Swedish fish stuck to the inside of my pocket that were from last week at school. But I've washed these pants, so they might taste a little bit like laundry soap. Okay, well, I guess beggars can't be choosers. I'll take them. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Yeah, I actually ate those uh, yesterday morning. What? But you promised me them. Sorry, but I love Swedish fish, even if they've gone through the washing machine. Well, have a nice life. Ugh, thank you. Well, I feel kind of bad eating that cookie in front of him and not giving him any snacks. I mean, he doesn't have any food. I think my mom might be right. Like, I do live, like, a lot differently than other people. I think I'm going to use my allowance to get him some food. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Oh, it's you again. What are you doing back? Are you still hungry after that cookie? I met Lou. Man, his situation is really bad. Ow. Maybe I am spoiled. Well, it looks like you're getting over being spoiled. It looks like you bought him a bag of groceries. Yeah, I have like a dollar left. Is that enough to get a cookie? <gasps> well, they're a dollar fifty, but since you're being so nice, I'll put in the fifty cents. Oh, thank you so much. I think he's gonna love all this delicious food. Sure is better than eating the stuff from the trash can. You're a good kid. Uh, I think I'm starting to become one. What's she doing back here? Uh, she brought a whole bag of groceries to eat in front of me? Kid, you're just cruel. No, Lou, I'm not going to eat this in front of you, although this bread smells so good. It's for you. Aww. What? All this food is for me? Yeah, it's it's all for you, Lou. Oh, look at this breadstick! It's enormous! Do a trash can dance, because I got a trash can dance. Hey, Lou, uh, my family always has pizza on Friday nights, and... Uh, we always have an extra couple slices. I'm gonna start bringing some down for you. Really? You do that for me? Yeah, of course. You can count on it. Will you be here? Yep, living in my trash can. It's a good life. Um, okay, if you say so. Well, enjoy those groceries. Wow, an apple. I haven't had something healthy in, I don't know, 10 years. Wow, Lou. Well, I'll see you Friday with the pizza, okay? Sounds good, thanks, Molly. Today has been the craziest day of my life. I learned so much about poor people, homeless people, people that are different than me. And it makes me want to help people a lot more and well, be a lot less spoiled. At first, I thought this assignment for my mom was totally crazy and it made me kind of annoyed. But now I see why she did it. So, um, I guess, thanks, mom. Okay. I finished my assignment. I guess I have to go see what my mom has to say. And then this guy Lou was doing a trash can dance. Wow, Molly, this snap is really good. Um, you are released from being grounded. I loved the idea that you actually were gonna take in pizza every Friday night. Mom, I just wanna thank you for this crazy assignment. Wait, what? Thank you? Yeah, I learned that I was acting kind of spoiled. And that there's people who really just could use my help sometimes. I met this man. He lives on a park bench. I gave him the three dollars in my pocket so he could get a candy bar or a snack. It's all the money I had, but maybe we could take him a piece of pizza on Friday too. I love this idea, girls. And so you don't want a new iPhone? No, this one's just fine. Yeah, Mom. Um, but, um, can I still get some Robux? Molly! What? I want to play the new Roblox game! I think you being grounded is quite enough. Uh, well, uh, okay. But can I have some Robux tomorrow? Ooh. Molly! How about the next day? Molly! <laughs> some things my sister will never learn about. <laughs>